boss, you have one minute. Cause on a Friday night, me have to tune in to Real Talk on Stars 96 FM. Me and you have questions about love, birds and the bees. Not to mention the ticks and the fleas. So you try tuning on a Friday night between 9 and 12 for Real Talk. At the show we discuss everything real and nothing ideal. <laughs> and welcome to Real Talk, the show where we discuss everything real and nothing ideal. And tonight is no exception to that. Of course, you are listening to Styles FM Radio on the 96.1, 96.5, and 96.7 on the FM dial. And of course, this is Real Talk, and you're tuned to the voices of Daddy Rude. Who you'll, you'll hear later on, pop down and tired like what? And of course, yours truly, Lady Cleo. And our engineer tonight is none other than Cassidy, the very silent assassin. I don't know how silent he'll be today, tonight, or for the rest of the night, but we will find out, yeah? It's his birthday, understand? So, of course, we'll show him with some love as we go throughout the program tonight. So welcome one and all to Real Talk. And of course, let me say kudos and big, big ups to my very dear friend, Nyla Lauza, who is in studio with us tonight visiting. Welcome to Portland. Yes, and to Styles and to Real Talk. All right. And Daddy Rude, you like your shave and trim and look like you <laughs> take off somebody. <laughs> Bad era for your head top. <laughs> You're looking... Uh, Ah, younger tonight, you all right? I'll go on easy. Yeah, I'll go on easy. I'll go on like him, yeah. him. Always come in here, people. I want to give him cute. But, you know, later on, as the show gets more on its way, we will hear how crazy and mad and bad he really is, as Daddy wrote. Right now, he's just being UL Jackson. <laughs> but by the time the show kick off by 9.30, yeah, man, we're going to see Daddy Road chipping in. <laughs> Right, but of course, it's great to have you guys tonight. Let me give you the numbers to hook us up if you are in Jamaica and you wish to call us locally or send us a WhatsApp message only. Remember, we can't take WhatsApp calls on the line. Um, and if you want to send us an S SMS, the number is 876-453-1444. That's 876-453-1444. And if you're overseas and you wish to call us in, that number is 954-338-7973. That's 954-338-7973. And let's look at those numbers for the USA, Canada, and the UK on the go. And uh, that is rude will chip in with us right now and give us the USA on the go number. Um, the USA on the go number is 712-832-2772. That's 712-832-2772. And in the UK, Daddy Rude? <laughs> <laughs> 0330010322. That's 0330010322. And in good old Canada? Six four seven nine five seven nine six three seven. That's six four seven nine five seven nine six three seven. Thank you, Daddy Rude. I want you cute. And of course, the social media peeps who are always, always locked in on Facebook, watching the live stream. You can check out Facebook tonight to see tonight's show at Styles FM 96.1. Go to the fan page and you will see us live and direct. Please feel free to share a comment or two and do enjoy as you watch. Our friends who do Twitter, it's at Styles FM 961. And for Instagram, Programmers, follow us at Styles FM. And of course, tonight's show, as well as previously held shows, can be seen on YouTube. Go to Styles FM Radio. And if you have not yet downloaded the Styles FM app, you can check out the Styles FM Jamaica app or the Styles FM Radio. Download those on your phone and you're good to go. Okie dokie. And of course, big ups to our friends in Brooklyn on the 91.3 FM and in Bronx on the 102.9 FM. 91.3 FM in Brooklyn, 102.9 FM in the Bronx. Of course, tonight is one of those 
excited again, Nights for Lady Cleo, because it's the summer holidays and I don't have to go to work. <laughs> hey, that's a wonderful, glorious feeling. <laughs> don't mention that part. All the pay we're getting in the summer holidays is two little months, make up for all the stress we go through from September back to July. Right, Nyla? Right. <laughs> May I back it to you tonight, the whole heap. So, there we have it. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, let me say big ups to Mrs. Jackson. Lady Jackson, big ups to you right about now. And of course, Mr. Jackson. Mr. Jackson as well. Not you, not you, you well. Not you. Not at all. Not you. Of course, it's Father Jacko. Big ups to you as well. Um, may, not, may not big you up? <laughs> Melissa uh, at Pear Tree River. Good night, Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Good night to you. Good night, Daddy Rude and Lady Cleo. And happy birthday to Cassidy from Andrea. Happy birthday to Cassidy from Baby G from Bath. What a heap of love him I get tonight. And of course, can I tell you, the love is going to be showering in. I can, I can feel it right about now. All the ladies who love off Cassidy from a long time will be, yes, it's true, texting in and all these things. So you're not getting nothing in love tonight, that would be sorry for you. No. <laughs> nothing for you tonight. So, of course, we want to just pause for a very brief moment, just about for two minutes, to just simply say, um, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Cassidy. Happy birthday to you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. Happy birthday to you. Of course, on behalf of Lady Cleo and my co-host, Daddy Root, happy birthday to you. And, of course, <coughs> Gracie from Gracie and Mrs. Davis. Happy birthday to you, Cassidy. <laughs> Mrs. Davis sends you and Gracie sends you this lovely cake. Ask him, him shock, people, him shock, him shocked. Of course, accept the cake on behalf of Gracie, our dear listener, beautiful, yes. And of course, put the balloons on your neck, please. Yes, stand up on your neck. Yeah, right now. Yee-hoo! Happy birthday. And to make your night even more special, on behalf of yours truly and Daddy Rood, my co-host, happy birthday to you, sir. Oh, people, you want to see him face full of smiles. Oh, yeah. A lot of smiles tonight. I'll go find kiss and all these things, yes. So, Cassidy, we wish you all the very best. I must go around your neck, you yeah, hear? Yeah. Take the man picture every time the man I take Yes, it's true. Always taking my picture for true. Come, I can take your picture at this moment, people. It's... Oh, I'm on a selfie. Can you imagine I'm on a selfie? Oh, Lord. So, of course, it's Cassidy's birthday tonight. And, oh, man, I've got balloons around him. Poor thing. He's swarmed in balloons. Yes, sir. Take the pictures. We wish you all the very best, all the blessings to you. And may you live to see many, many more birthdays. I'm going to pop kiss on him jaw right now. Mm -hmm. You catch that? Okay, so there we go. Thank you so much. And of course, you're most welcome. And of course, from all the listeners out there, I know they'll be showering. Yes. Tell her yourself. Thank you, Lady Grace. And Miss Davis. And Mommy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, Gracie. Yes. And thank you, of course, too. All right. So, we are going to go a little bit into Daddy Road business now. Daddy Road, what's going on with you? Um, St. Thomas Jerk Festival. St. Thomas Jerk Festival coming up on the 29th. That's on Sunday. That's on Sunday. All right. And um, so Styles FM it. is going to be a part of this inaugural event. Yeah. 
Um, cool. Big up to <gasps> Nadia and um, the original, 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 original um, promoter. How should, how, how should I describe um, the proprietor now? It's a bridge, you know, always just... You know, flamboyant yes, and, and, yeah, and yeah, always man. happy and always yes, and listen, perky, excited. perky and just and just full of like energy, energy, full of yeah. energy. And, and I have a strong belief in the success of this. You know, I know Nadia Coburn is the is the uh, marketing person be, um, for it, mm -hmm. but you know, I have a big up the whole the entire team. Is that a bridge where we really like have himself out there still? No, so they have they have nothing for big him up. On he did the interview on um. On Styles FM, and you realize that he had never mentioned his name. Mm -hmm. No, he had never mentioned his name, right? So, but um, I have a big up all of the people him um, were involved in a Saint Thomas um, Jerk Festival, mm -hmm. and um, is a wonderful event coming up, and I want to see the Saint Thomas people out, up and running. Uh, Styles FM is a sponsor. RGR Group is a sponsor. Our outside broadcast is also sponsored by the St. Thomas Taxi Association oh, cool. and um, Eastern Electrical and Plumbing Supplies. Mm -hmm. And where will this be? Right. It's going to be at License Pavilion. Mm -hmm. Right. It's a family fun event. And uh, I'd like to see, you know, the people really coming out and plan to enjoy themselves. It's not about the boy support. It's about enjoying yourself and uh, taste some really nice cuisine. And mm -hmm. um, there's gonna be a lot of things for the kids, a lot of rides, a lot of um, activities, etc. A lot of performing artists, including Agent Sasko, George Nooks, and many, 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 many more. And come out and see some of the stars, FM personalities. Mm -hmm. Right. So I, I might just, I might, 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 might. Be there for a couple of seconds. Okay. All right, because those who know, I travel very, 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 very far. 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 Yes, <laughs> far on a Friday and on Sunday. So I just part tight, but you know, big up on yourself, Center Master Direct Festival team, and the admission is not is not is not expensive, right? It's just a family fun field day, and I want to see y'all there. Okie dokie. Yep. Um. I'm tired. Melissa was asking just now if we are coming to the jerk fest. I am hoping I'll be able to go. I am 99.9% sure that I'm going to be there. Okay. For how long? I'm not sure. <laughs> but I'm 99.9% .9 sure that I'm going to be here. Cottish, Cottish Sean is going to be there. Now, Cottish Sean, you're going to daddy, you're going to cook, you're going to what? Are you just going to turn up with the kids, with the family? Right, bring the whole, whole, whole family and bring, bring the mate to them too, yeah? Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, boy. But I know a lot, a lot of persons have already told me that they're going to be at this event and they're going to bring uh, mainly family um, mm -hmm. people. So it's, it's a family oriented event. Event. Yes. Starts at about, gates open at 10? At about 10, yes. Yep. And it goes until, until, I guess, I guess say until, when. yeah. Yes. All right. What has your week been like? Um, miserable. My cause, you know, I'm going bad. I do all <laughs> kind of all all kind of things. I'm going. So you look so calm when you go repent. No, 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 man. My repentance is on judgment day, man. You know, judgment day. cost too. Everything, everything. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> may, may, may I enjoy, <laughs> may I enjoy life right now. The weirdest thing and happened to me yesterday. And I must share. Watch ya. Occupy enough, go to Sean. Sean, we know say mom's not on no me. So nobody come about keep it level, bro. <laughs> you, look here, no bother with it. We know say you don't have no you are one burner. Burner. Like Which is the, good. Like the cold stove where you cook the big pot them pan. That's good, remember you had the big pot cook. Keep it that way. And you had the big pot king in us, so no bother with it. Yeah, one burner like the cold stove where you cook pan. And of course Bunny shouting out to Sandra and Daddy Road. Big Sandra. Up, big up. Is it Sandra he wanted to say, or I don't know if he's thinking he's Sandra on tonight, but okay, Sandra and Daddy Road big ups from Bunny. <laughs> All right. Um, I had a, a weird evening yesterday. Oh, hold on. Sick a whole pin. Yes. The time is now 9.30. Oh, 9 
It's, it's brought to you by VJ, VJ Printing, Printing Services, Services and Real, Real Talk, Talk is sponsored by Native, Native Audio Stage, Stage and Lighting. Lighting. We'll soon come. <laughs> Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint for more information call vj printing at 893-2266 Mika Music Incorporated, Jenna Kush and Jabi, aka Kushites, present King Sturgav with legendary U Roy, British Canadian American Jamaican link up. Saturday, August 4, Club Atlantic, Mansion Hill, Portland. Tickets pre sold $800, $1,000 at the gate, featuring Charlie Chaplin, Little John, General Trees, U Roy. Free Children's Fun Day and Treats, Cash Prize Domino Tournament, Portland versus Kingston. Lots of prizes and surprises. Come, let's make history together. Saturday, August August 4, sponsored by Singer and Digicel. Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5 Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. For complete auto repairs and services, come to Akon Auto Technology, located at 33 Bumble Crescent, Port Antonio, Jamaica. We offer specialist services in wheel alignment and wheel balancing, brake drum and disc rotary servicing, state-of-the-art ultrasonic cleaning and testing of your fuel injectors. We also stock an assorted range of auto service parts, tires and motorcraft batteries. If we don't have it, we will source it for you. Call us at 876-715-5205 or email Acon Auto Tech 16 at gmail.com. Acon Auto Technology, beyond the typical auto mechanic shop. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to <laughs> Real Talk with <laughs> Daddy Rude and Lady Claim. Start or oh. the top of me. You see, Daddy Rude, I told you, you know, by 9.30, Daddy Rude would chip in. He just can't help himself. He's provoking me already. I'm going to have to clap him. How did I? His usual claps. How did and I? Coughing at night time. But, uh, so, uh, this is the first time I'm going to dispute. Just stop wanting to get innocent. Stop <laughs> wanting to get innocent. Right. So, people, I had a weird evening yesterday. I, yesterday morning, I got up and I have two packs of tea, tea bag, okay. one herbal one and another one, some other thing that I bought. I did not pull the other one. So, of course, the herbal one, um, I thought, let me just use the herbal one. What's in it? Um, detox something, something. I don't know. Herbs. Herbs, right. Herbs. Yeah, it's herbal. No. <laughs> so. Not um, is herb. Remember yeah, herb. herb. Yeah. Oh, that herb, that much of herb? No, no idea. I mean, no one in there, but the other one, now, this morning, I was looking forward to pull, to pull that one to use because, of course, my guest didn't like the herbal one. Can't find the pocket tea bag. I mean, seriously, and the thing is, why well, I'm not going to get crazy or I'm not go, you know, forgetful or what do they call it? Where you forget things. Amnesia, when I suffer from amnesia, she saw the pack of tea bag too, unpulled. It wasn't pulled as yet. And we went back this morning looking for the thing and we couldn't find it. It means that in the house, in the, in the fridge, because you know, maybe I get old, so you might put it in the fridge by accident. No, we don't, know. We, we, we don't know. In the, in the fridge, in, in the like garbage. It, oh, yes, I will. 
It's all like sealing. <laughs> it's not in the cupboard. It's not under the cupboard. It's not in the oven. It was nowhere in the house. Nowhere in the kitchen star. Somebody I say, where the tea bag could I do? I don't understand all no we can't fight them with the tea bag. The, the brand new pack of tea bag. All no, as in like all no, like tonight no? All no, tonight no. Like all no, our winner the home, like no, with our studio, yeah. We just don't know where the tea bag there. It's a mystery. So you buy two pack of tea bag or just two tea bag I get from somewhere? No man, I buy the first one, the herbal one, when it tastes so good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then I bought another one sometime after. So I've, I've had it there for like weeks now, you know. Oh, so, oh, so, you, so it's, it, it was, was there all along. It was at the house. Yes, and it all never along. pulled. So I pulled my one, I pulled it now to try it, and that one, I said that one tastes a little better. So did you see it at the time when you saw the herbal one? Yes, we saw it yesterday, man, the toy seat. Where? In the kitchen, on, the, on top of the, the on, underneath the herbal one. Underneath the herbal one? Yes, on, on, a, on a bottle. And it was there on the bottle and then the herbal one on top of it. So I put them together. So when I went back this morning now looking for the new one, to pull the new one, mm. it's on the herbal one and I see. So where is the other one? It's a mystery. Mother and the grave began to move. <laughs> Mother you can't really and wonder the grave began no, to move. No, check the rat, it might have it. <laughs> The rat? Then I saw him big fit with the whole boxer. So why not to call the herbal one? Can it taste bad? <laughs> but <laughs> no. No, me need some answers for you. Seriously. Me, 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 me get on way, me get all scared. Ask ask Nile. I got scared. I don't know where that people texting me telling me where the <laughs> where the tea bag is. <laughs> <laughs> Me, me, I don't me. know if it's over the tea bag. So it's a day. whole, because at first, I think a boy, like, you know, when, when you go like one hotel, you can just take one, one tea bag, you know, you know I think of something like that. No, one so whole, it's a whole pack. Yes, the so, whole box. Tetley? I remember which one, you know, but I want one red nice rose. looking one. I don't know, red was one green, so onyx green tea, like, on green tea. Caribbean, sit on it, huh? Caribbean dream, I think it is. Mm. I think it's that one. But where is it? Where could it be? All right, let me ask you a question. Are you sure? That all this time it was there? Ask her. Can you not trust in me? Ask a stranger. Thought it was there, Sister Nyla. It was there. Okay. <laughs> so she knows something about that and I jaw too. I wonder. Eh? We weren't drinking nothing except water and apple juice. Mixed with what? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, rats have good taste. Boy, I mean, I know. But that would be a big rat. <laughs> A sip tea. Is that England rat? Probably. <laughs> Probably, mate. <laughs> You're a lunatic. <laughs> you got the accent just now. Probably. <laughs> oh, man. I, I'm yet to figure out where my box of tea went. Um, I don't know. That, that's a weird one. I don't know. I don't Hard know. guess? Mm, no. Mm. Just one person came to fix something, but... No, so I didn't have a guess. Okay. Well, I don't know. Maybe because you, you, you consider, interrupt. Maybe because you, 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 you... Oh, God. <laughs> What's wrong with Marie? Marie, don't do that. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe because you interrupted. The rat of The rat of foreign. Rat Caribbean choice. <laughs> <laughs> Check behind the stove. Did we do that? But you can't go behind the stove. You can't drop behind the stove. Film, I don't know. We're going to look until the next week where if we find it behind the stove. Seriously. But strange. Strange thing ever happened. Do you sleepwalk? Sleepwalk? Yes. No. Do you sleepwalk? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> what are you insinuating? <laughs> that we sleepwalked and took up the tea and what? Hit it? Maybe threw it in the garbage. I, I dug up the garbage and it wasn't there. Seriously, man, it's clear. I'm here, call Marie. <laughs> oh, good. No, I see little. Marie there. Um, go With go see the doppy. I drink tea now. Yeah? Oh my well, that's, that, that's definitely a mystery. Um, it is. <laughs> and the house is not big where you can say, some no churn is there, you know, obviously they took it up or whatever. Nothing like that. So, I mean, no. <clears throat> so that was this morning I look for it, right? Yeah. 
And it was there up to yesterday morning. Yesterday morning. Yes. And all we do was just go downtown, dealt with some business, came back up. And it was this morning. because No, it was last night when she was looking for she wanted some tea. And I would say, I don't want to give her back the herbal one because she don't like the herbal one. So let me find the other one. And I would say, my girl, what the tea there? And she said, I saw it there for true this morning. So, I mean, you know, in a couple of hours, the tea just went missing star. You know what about that tea? Let me talk. ask you a question. And you know, so daddy would now go all in mouth and go and talk. Right? Where am I come with now? <clears throat> you sure they really want your friend drink none of your tea? And are you not ID? <laughs> eh? No man, because you have the you have the two tea them there for mm -hmm. months now, right? Weeks. And you pull the taste bad one for your friend start drinking. No, you didn't pull a red tea. Right? And your friend no, like the taste bad man, one. Stop pouring oh. them out, my dog. You didn't pull already, but because we said pull already, we just go and use that one here. But this man now. So I never pull a new now. one. Why never pull a new one That's first? That me I go for look for the new one for pull for and come here. Did you really and truly want to pull the new one? Yes, man. Did you sure? Good. Yes. So why never pull for weeks now? All of a sudden. Good. I'm a good house guest, you know. No, we're not so talking about that part. I give her the detox one so we can all detox. W talk it to you. But she don't like the detox one. So. In front of man and God. Where you put the tea? We didn't know where tea gone. You don't remember where you put it? No, no, me not I know me trouble it, man. I said that I don't no, me say, you don't remember where you put it? You know what? All right. Big up Which part you think you might put it? Which part you think you might hide it? I didn't put it anyway. <laughs> you think you're going to tie me up tonight and put me in a bangarang? No. No, you're not. No, I'm just trying to figure out what happened to the tea. Davine Serata, take it, laugh out loud. You, you know, Hear you, you know. From here, her, her friend not like you, so she hide it. No, it's not that one gone. What's wrong with you? No. It's <laughs> <laughs> and the brand new one. We don't know it tastes like yet. That one gone. The brand new one gone. And the taste of one is still there. So, of course, you know what? Let me just shout out quickly to our friend, my friend, Diane in Atlanta, Georgia. And, of course, Vivian over there as well. All our friends who listen on the World Wide Web who watch us and listening. All the oh no, mm -hmm. all the names them. Yes, man. Of course, big ups to uh, Wayne, who I think is in Jamaica. Big ups to Rochelle and Mel, Mr. and Mrs. Green, recently married. Big ups to Gary, Mr. Lewis in Kingston, listening in to Real Talk and watching Real Talk right about now. And of course, big ups, shout outs to Mr. McPherson in the UK. Yep, always checking back to see what went on on Real Talk. All right, so you know, the road. Yeah. Um, b before you go, I, I was reading something not too long. About tea? No. Or the rat? About dressing. Because okay. you know normally a lady, you're you, you a hot girl. <laughs> sure. Right? You're a hot girl. And <laughs> you don't feel so? You agree or disagree? Of course. Sir. Okay. So you remember the pastor man where they were usher him out? Look here. Right? The man they gonna make me just get mad. Because you have your, your, you have the nails. Right? You have on the jewelry. <coughs> lipstick. The, 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 um, the, the, um, the makeup. Da, right? Da. I mean, your friend now. What's your name? Remind me. Nyla. 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 Yes. No nails. You know? She now get usher out at church. Yeah. You know. Theme church? I don't want to be in in the first place. So... Me and my wife, we, we had a conversation. I think mm -hmm. it was, I think at this morning or yesterday morning, we, we were talking about the whole, um, how some people don't wear, yeah, we had talked about clothes and, and some persons don't know wear pants none at all because mm -hmm. of them religion. And it is so, what should I say now? Coincidental. So, I, yes. I, I, was, I was going through this. Um, book which is called the Israel United in Christ. Oh, um, welcome home, an introduction <clears throat> to righteousness. As a pastor man, church. I highly doubt it. Okay. And it says, women, mm -hmm. do not wear pants slash breeches. And Deuteronomy twenty two verse five says, a woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man neither shall a man put on a woman's garment mm -hmm. <laughs> that part is sweet me <laughs> <No>. <laughs> for all that 
do so are abomination unto the Lord mm -hmm. thy God. No, it kind of throw me off because me I tell my wife, say, boy, all them women there, we go to church and now we're in a pants. Then if you look at it the other way, as pants, as one big panty. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Because if you really check it out, pants are a big panty. So, mm -hmm. me don't see nothing wrong if a woman want to wear pants. Okay. Right? Now, when you look on the, the part, you know, it's a boy, Exodus 22nd, well, Exodus 28, verse 42 to 41. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt put them upon Aaron thy brother, mm -hmm. and his son with him, and shalt anoint him, well, anoint them, and cons consecrate them, and sacrifice them, that they may minister unto me uh, in the priest's office, and thou shalt them linen breeches to cover their nakedness mm -hmm. from the loins even unto thigh and they shall reach whatever that means i don't have a clue what that means but <laughs> all them as a woman of wear pants mm -hmm. so like you know in your shorts, shorts. your friend our pants yes summertime so you will forget to out in a your nails and your makeup and stuff like that but you in a pants so <laughs> half a year got hell and all of me you <laughs> <laughs> know look so good for hey. you well, you see, that's the good thing, you know, with God and man. The difference between mm. God and man. No, but like you know. Because. You're a distraction to church, you know. Why? Is, I would not wear this to church. You wouldn't? I would wear shorts to church. What would you wear to church? A dress or a skirt. Would you wear heels to church? Oh, of course. Gladly. No, but you can't wear heels to church, my Why make? No, that, 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 that a harlot thing. Really? Yeah. Time to wear what? Flip flops? Do not dress like a word. Proverbs. Do seven. not dress like a who? See it there. In eels? Me say. No. Me, me, me Hold on there. All that. I babble this? All that. Let me read this sitting. I babble this? Me say all that. Let me read this sitting. I'm not a boy. I can't so much. How would they say? See it here. Proverbs 7. Uh -huh. Verse 10 to 11. Verse 10 says, And behold... There met him a woman with attire of an harlot and subtle of heart. And you subtle at art. How so? You're not subtle at art. I don't know of that. I'd have to have somebody who said I subtled them at heart to tell me if I do. You're a devil in your heart? Excuse me? You're a devil in your heart? No, no. No, no. Good heart, clean heart, girl. Then you're not subtle Loving at heart, Loving and man. caring and kind. Then aren't you subtle at heart? No, sir. Mm -mm. You're not subtle? No, I think so. <laughs> that will sound deceptive. Leviticus, oh, what message? Me? Leviticus 19, verse 29. Mm -hmm. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore, lest the land fall toward them and the land become <laughs> full of wickedness. So, there's a part that is in, 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 in a, tonight we're going to talk about the whole wickedness. So, the, whole, the scripture that I talk about, thank you, Gracie, the, whole, the scripture that I talk about, come as you are. No, 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 Gracie, fire, you know, say, the fire, last Gracie. Time, the same scripture, what am I talking about, you know, if I remember correctly, the scripture tells us of the woman, was it was the woman of Samaria? My girl, everything. Who, when she went to the feet of Jesus and they were being ready to stone her. One, one at the well, at the, one of them, at the, at the well, or at the woman of Samaria. She went and they, uh, to Jesus' feet, asked to, 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 to speak to the Lord. To Christ Himself. Yeah. And they were about to stone her, and of course He said, He that is without sin cast the first stone. Not one of them who did so righteous and holy, like the pastor man there. Yeah? Could have could I throw one stone at her? Yeah, but so I don't understand. And the scripture did tell us too that you should I think at one point they were <coughs> um Tearing or ripping apart their garments. I don't remember the story preceding that, before that, prior to that. But the scripture did say, this, this, the Christ said, you are to rent your hearts. Cleanse your heart. Remove the bad things from your heart. And Render not, your heart and not and your garments. Not your garments. That means it's right. a church so, garment. And that's so, why Timothy said, dress modestly. Everything else, yes. a place, be a fire upon yeah. you. 
Zane. <laughs> yeah, me a strength for you. I'm here strength for Timothy tonight. 9. <laughs> Timothy 2 verse 9. Well, 1 Timothy 2 verse 9. In like manner Hold also. Hold on. Yeah, Keisha said, Ja, put a bridle upon hypocrite rule mode today. <laughs> 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 ah! Only, oh, you only have this. picked things pertaining to women. Thank you, Gracie. No, when me I read, uh, when me I read, you know, this something here, you know. It, I know me say so, you know, the Israelite, them say so. That the road, and Oi. yet the Bible says, render your heart, but not your garment. Melissa, Pear Tree River. Thank but you, Melissa. Melissa, Melissa, hear that part, you know. Mm-hmm. As I said, 1 Timothy 2 <laughs> verse 9. I want to go read them something. I have for that book. Right? <laughs> that was the old mos- in like mosaic manner. law. Hold on, no? That was the old mosaic law that was done away with. The no. only law still binding are the Ten Commandments. No, no, That's no. That's what the people are saying. No, all I want to. Go all, ahead. All Do you believe in this book? You see the party, yeah? other party I got to joke all you. And <laughs> every other somebody will love where you here. You hear the party? Yeah? I bought it. I, <laughs> it was paid for. In like manner also it's that fine. women adorn themselves uh-huh. in modest apparel. Yes. With shamefacedness. Yes. And sobriety. Not with bridled ear or gold, pearl or costly array. Mm-hmm. Take off all them sitting and left out. No, no, come off, man. No, when my girl. Gold. This is a holy studio. I want you a rose gold. With Jarrod. Stainless steel. Um, they're not coming off. I'm father, Cass. <laughs> <laughs> Take off your watch, my youth. My watch, this Take off your no expense. I'm not curious what's in This is not gold. This is what? This? I'm not gold. I'm not gold. This is a frankincense and myrrh. You know what I think? Frankincense and myrrh. That watch needs to go. <laughs> For your information, that watch needs to go. And your wedding band needs to go. You may not have a wedding band. And your chin Mem- on your no, neck mem- needs mem- to go. No, the wedding band lasts a long time. Mom's asleep. Then she knows it lasts a long time, man. What a work this man like you be. Yeah, man, I saw your thing. If you lost your wedding band, and anyhow your wife had lost her wedding band, you'd, you wouldn't hear the end of it. No, she have to give back the money oh, feet. Oh, she took it off because it's somebody else she was she seeing. To, no, she have to just give back the money feet. It's simple Did as you that. give her back the money for yours? I bought mine. <laughs> and she, she, she for give me the money feet. And I'll know me not get it. Gracie say you are big to get cough. No worry, man. He has a holy to get tonight <laughs> because he's been working for it. Marie said, Cleo, just make we go naked and done. Yeah. Them love watch with too much. Yeah, you hear him quickly say, yeah? <laughs> and that would come under the, the category no, but, of no, immodesty, listen, no, 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 if we were no, to go no, naked. No, 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 but all no, of a sudden, no. yeah. No. I'm going to take that back because <laughs> to the to the Mr. Lady, Similar cut up jeans thing, but more big cuts from, from like. I a, hate those. Our, our, our thigh come down here, so. Yes. And if you tell you the truth, I like the clothes, but the tie where we wrinkle and push out. Jesus of mercy. It, oh so the God. naked thing, Marie, <laughs> spear way. <laughs> spear way. <laughs> Do. <laughs> In our workout. <laughs> a, hypocrite, a, a hypocrite road. Oh, One that, part of the Bible say you nothing um add or take away from the word. Thank you, Kay. Um, who said it? Yakisha. Me not add nothing. Ball a daddy road. Oi. Go bed, no man. <laughs> Leave clear alone. And of course, happy birthday to Cassidy. Of course. Thank you, Katie, and thank you, my love. Um, uh, oh. that's that's your weird. Ear, that's what? What's that? <laughs> that you want ear. Yes, daddy road. <laughs> yes, man, the, the naked one. It's all got naked and done. Mm-hmm. That's him want for here for true. King Mitchell says, my you take time with my friend Lady Cleo. Me, me back strong for him, you know. Me back strong for him. You can't stay there go and run out for him out. Marie says, you know, I've not no wrinkle and push out. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, Barry, I'm absolutely sure he does. <laughs> ah, and he push out naturally, my love. Oh boy, and naturally wrinkled too, right? Oh boy. Of course, guys, we are gonna have going through our. I mean, I listen to more. Yeah, you got your book. Try to put on that book. You know, try to put on that book. So we're gonna go into our vox pop for tonight, Cassidy. Let's see. Oh, what is? No <laughs> sex for 40 days. I'm you must be mad. I'm 40 days. So not the same book. We no just sex for 40 man. days. Oh, you know, it's because you're about the same book. No, it's not good for him. Oh, it said no sex for 40 days after giving birth to a boy. And no sex 
for 80. Jesus. After giving birth to a girl. So you're, you're breached. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 you no. Cass, have, Cass, no, 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 Cass, hold on. No, 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 no. I know we them are talk about. You do. I know the woman them. I don't want them. I, I, I know it. We're good. We're good, Cass. Cass, we're good. <laughs> I know it, Cass. So who do you want to have sex with? No, no well, it's a giving birth. Who we do want to have sex with? Who we do want to have sex with? No, after the 40 days or the 80 days, depends so on what I want to get. You don't have no sex with her neither? You don't have no sex with her either? No, we don't have no sex with her. So we're we, good. We are the gutter road. You don't worry about that part there. You don't <laughs> you worry know about what? the part there. The part there. The part there. Oh the, the, what we are doing in this? <laughs> what we are going to do in Sherelle this? Cheryl in Toronto says, Good night. The Samaritan, Samar Samaritan woman at the well is a figure from the Gospel of John. In John 4, verse 4 to 26. In Eastern Orthodox and Eastern Catholic traditions, she is venerated as a saint with the name 14. Okay, and that's of course from Wikipedia. All right, so of course, Daddy Rude and mm. his ideas from this uh, book, which is not the book. So Israel United Church in Christ. Yes. Uh -huh. So we go now, of course, to our Vox Pop for tonight. Finally. Yeah, try. Daddy Rude. Yeah, yeah, try to fight against the book. Cassidy, know. if it. it yeah, try to fight against I'll, the word. I'll accept and appreciate anything. Victoria talked about Pan Sunday in about the, the word. holy book, but not that piece of something in your hand. Yeah. Okay, so Daddy, Daddy Rude, we go to our Vox Pop tonight. Cassidy. So you know why you hear about the part where say man is the head of the house? No, we don't hear about the part. I want the most respect way. Mm -mm. Nourish we, we way. Only for respect way. Wash your foot eh? and drink we, we the we water. Respect way. Eh? Yeah, respect yes, but the part. But what? But what? The part where say thou what? shall wash your foot and drink the water. And the part they want to read. Vox Pop, please, Daddy Road. <laughs> 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 so, ladies and gentlemen, tonight's Vox Pop. Today, we. This is it? No, this is not it. Oh, no, that's last week, sir. It's last week's. I'm almost certain that's not Th it. That's last week. Yeah, because it looks like last week. Looks last week-ish. So, of course... Hey, boy, stop living at the past. <laughs> it's stop a birthday, sir. Around, <laughs> it's a birthday, sir. You're getting old, sir. There's a lot of, sir. Th a lot of things on his mind tonight. Welcome to my club, sir. <laughs> so, of course, tonight's Vox Pop reads... By Box. the way, you get new phone. Ta -da -dee. Three months. Oh, leave me alone. All right, all right. 90 Just days. Eh? 90 days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> of course. Tonight's Vox Pop. I love you, baby. Yeah. And I love you more, hon. Uh-oh. <laughs> do you believe in love at first sight? None at all. Yes, I do. Yeah. Which is more relevant to a lasting relationship? Love or is it respect? Respect. Love. None at all. Love. Respect. Love. Respect. With love, everything else falls into place. None at all. Yes, it does. Other part of this says, do you think wedding vows are important oaths or are they just a spiritual cliche? Spiritual cliche. You guys make them redundant. You men Who? make Oh, no, wedding no, vows, no, no, redundant. No. You get married tonight, mm. and within a week or less, yeah. God forbid, you are out there with some chick on the meat before the wedding day or after the wedding day. Yeah, talk about a week. Uh -huh. Same thing. <laughs> My point exactly. Man, I so, said them thing, and I said, Jano Star. A man meets a woman, and of course, after a while, I love you, baby, he says. And she says, oh, I love you more, hon. Yeah, that's one of the famous stuff that it many people seem to do. But do you believe in love at first sight? Well, let's take it in parts. I believe in love at first sight. I can see a man and every part of him that I'm looking at, even if I don't hear him speak or if I hear him speak, I can say yes. It has happened to you before? I just love something about this man. No, a different something that. Different you something love that. the person. Different yes, you something can look at the person. Yeah, I twist I, up a thing. Look man. here, I'm not twisting up anything. Me say it is possible to love somebody at first sight. You see them for the first time and you can love them. It happens. It has happened. I spoke to a gentleman some time ago. Was it yesterday? I was in the bank actually, or the day before. And I was mentioning the Every topic. Every day in our bank. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> Please don't spread the propaganda on me. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I met this friend of mine and we were chit chatting. He was saying he liked last week's show. And he was, we were discussing Oops. that. 
And I told him about this one, this idea. Thank and you, Lisa. Said, Finally, Lisa, may agree. Let's not go there yet. Wait, and I said to him, he said, I said, do you believe that you can love, you can love somebody at first? And he said, yes. When he met his wife, he saw his wife firstly, that is. And when he saw her, he said, wow, mm, I love this woman. I love this woman. The way she looks, the way she, just the, just the aura of her. He loved her. And he said, when he spoke with her, he felt it even stronger. All Hold right. on a man. And in, in a while, I don't remember how long after, but they got married and they're now happily married. Yeah. That was love at first sight. Hold on, we're going to a break. It is now one minute after 10. Come to know where you are talking about. The time is brought to you by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. Stick and stay with some come. Yep. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. It's your girl, Maka Diamond. You see this August the 1st, Emancipation Day. Your girl, Maka Diamond, I come shell nipples. You don't know how to find it on the sweetest fish fry and thing on the beach all day. It's a beach party and stage show. With Red Beach, Portland, I go good again. Featuring your truly Maka Diamond. Spotlight, spacious, Nessa B, Scalali. I'm a hero code, so I'm a stone lover, come shell it. The thing I got loud, it's the Emancipation Day. Now I got normal. When you come celebrating the birthday, we never got a brand new song. Come shell it. It's your girl, Maka Diamond. Says so the August 1st, Emancipation Day. See you all. Winfred Beach, Portland. Good day, driver. You notice that you're parking in a no parking zone. You know, so you can get a ticket for this, sir. Really, officer? But just want to pick up some hardware supplies, you know. Do me a beg you. Give me a blind, you know? So if you need hardware supplies, why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and hardware, 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland. We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtula's Hardware, experience the three C's, comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware, opens 8 a.m. to midnight, seven days per week. Call 715-5132. Email ramtulasupercenter at gmail.com. Remember, we have the best prices in town. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399. Don't forget, 518-2399. Planning a party? Club night out? Stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876 286 9216 or 439 5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Delrose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to the show. And of course, we are looking at the Vox Pop for tonight. And one of the parts of the, to the Vox Pop, one part of the Vox Pop is whether or not you believe in love at first sight. And of course, my co-host says no to that. And Lady Cleo says, yes, it is possible for you to meet a man. Ladies, you can meet a man and fall, I wouldn't say in love, but you can see the man and love him at first sight, yeah? And men, you can see a woman and love her at first sight. If that has happened to you, 
or it's happened to someone that you know, please feel free to text us or call us locally at 45-876-453-1444 or overseas 954-338-7973. Daddy no. Road, it's possible. It, it, and if listen. one person can tell me that it has, it has happened to them before, then I don't see why we should say it is impossible. No, Maybe no, it would no, happen no, to no, you. No, For no, the no. likes of you, it wouldn't happen to you. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. But it's possible. Listen, possibility, anything is possible. Exactly. So right? why are you ruling it out, sir? So, but then why have a question that answers itself? No, but that's what I'm saying. It it's happens. rhetorical. It's rhetorical. It happens. Listen. It happens. I think love at first sight is a whole different dimension. What do you mean? Right? You have to make up your mind really and truly. To right? the person at first sight? Did, did, is it really the person you love or you love what you see? The impression that is made, is it that what you love? Right? But it's one and the same. But love is not basic. Love what? isn't basic. Love is defined by different, in different ways for different people. No, I will. And the first time you see me, what do you think? <laughs> you really want to know? <laughs> <laughs> like a little boy. Look like a little boy. Yeah. Yeah. You love a little boy. You say, Jano, me love how the little boy they look. Eh? No, that, me love that marker no. boy there. Me love that ballet boy there. Me just love how him fight shine. No. Tell me something. Tell me. Tell me what? In teeth <laughs> them. Something. What? In twist up teeth. Tell me no man. Um. Because. What did I see? Well, let me tell you what I see man. Eh. <clears throat> Slick. And you love the slickness. I never say so. I never say so. <laughs> Smooth walker. Yeah. Like seemingly conscious. No. Only to find out later on in years to come that you're not so conscious at all. You're a sick soul. <laughs> <laughs> but at first glance, look sensible, respectable. Of course. Ish. <laughs> <laughs> like you look like you have sense. All right. Like you're smarty. You here like the you first time. You look like you're smart. When me see you the first here time. Here no. Oh, God. Cassidy. Here no. Talk it to Cass. Get ready for cooking. First time when me say clear, I'm, I'm going to tell me if me wrong. Prepare for your coffee now. Jano, you listen now. Brace you, your arm. J love was involved. <laughs> oh, the, first no, time, the first time I saw you, love was involved. What kind of love? Jano, I love what a girl is shape. <laughs> 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 no, but I'm coughing then. Hey, Cass, talk to you. So, no love, uh, no love that, that's love at first sight. No, what? it's all about shape at first sight. Then I love your shape, my girl. <laughs> and the love still remain. <laughs> a foreign call, Cassidy. And Cassidy, give me the nod of approval. Oh, Lord. Yeah, so we are talking about love. We are really at, when you say um, love at love, first love sight, what do you seen? mean? You're not that the person, you just John love them. You're a caller on the 954. This looks like Dan Dance. Good night, caller. Ah, my poor and total peeps. What is going on? Hi, Dan Dan. How are you? We have a Kingstone in I here, you know? Fine. St. Andrew White. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dan Dan, is it possible to love at first sight? Did you see me at first sight and love me at first sight? <laughs> All right, let, let me let me ask you, let me ask you this question. Hold on, man. Hold on, there. Hold on, man. No. no. From, the, from, the, from, the, from the time you first love somebody, you see. Mm -hmm. How much how much people you fall in love with? They not that. Does it matter? The question is, didn't say good how many persons you fall in love. Very no, good question. The question did not ask if it's possible to fall, to love more than one people at the same time. The, the question asked. On first sight. Is it sight. possible to love somebody <laughs> at first sight? That's what the question asked. So I'm asking okay. you. I'm asking all you, right, right. have you ever loved you, you anybody that, at first uh, sight, Dan Dan? What question have you asked me? Have you ever loved anybody at first sight? First sight? Yes. 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 Many, many, many times so. Okay. Did you love me at first sight? <laughs> eh? <laughs> <laughs> Did you love Lady Cleo at first sight? No, I me, don't hear so clear. Say it again. Me say if you didn't love me at first sight. Or oh, if I love you in first time? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. You want them to? Oh, what? Things are going for me. Okay, sir. So you say it's possible, right? So, 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 yeah, well, well, almost said I want to fall in love with for the first, I want to start for the first time. Okay, let, let me clarify something for you, my darling Dan Dan. Falling in love uh, with I, somebody and loving them at first sight are completely different things. Until I say I take love as basic, you know. 
think an element because when you fall in love with somebody i believe it goes to the point where you now have grown with them spent time with them shared with them built on something with them built the relationship with them <laughs> to where the point now where you become a, you be at a place where you know you're falling in love with them and falling don't mean you're not on your feet standing strong yeah but you have fallen in love with is different from seeing the person and saying, I love this woman. I just love this woman. It's different from interacting with her on first go and saying, wow, there's something about the way this woman speaks, the way she delivers herself, she presents herself, I love her. Or for a woman to say, this man, I can just see that he is the type of man that I'm, I'm, I'm just, I love, I love him. I joke yes, to it happens. Man. But falling in love, oh Dan, Dan, in my humble view, is when you have spent enough time or uh, some time growing and getting to know the ins and outs, the ills and the ups of this person, and you've fallen in love with them. It's different. What we are talking now about seeing somebody and saying to yourself, yes, I love this person. And that's <laughs> how it should be. Can we have that boat? We should yeah, love each yeah. other. As brother and sister. Yeah. We should love yeah. each other. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You know what I'm you know, you know, Sam, you know, Sam, a big man thing, you know, a man like me, you know, can fall in love when this is somebody for the first time, like a, a dozen times, a dozen times in your lifetime, you know. Mm. Yeah, it, all right. Is, is, that, is, is that true for a woman? Repeat the question. You never hear a man say. Eh? No, I was reading the text. Repeat the question, sir. The man say, man can fall in love with a dozen women. Is that the same thing for a man, for, for a woman? No, I wouldn't necessarily say so. Fall again. You're coming to the state without falling in love. No, man. At first sight. No, no, no. It's different. I'm not saying you can, you're gonna fall in love at first sight. I'm saying you just see the person, just love what you're seeing. You love the person. No. Clear. Stop mixing up falling in love with loving somebody. Come on, man. <clears throat> Seeing the man loving them is different from falling in love with them. Dan. Clear. Get I don't, the I don't, I don't, I don't, Somebody here is hey, asking. Me, me, somebody's asking, me, Dan, Dan, me, me, how me, can me, you me, love somebody you don't me, know? Me, me, no, all right, look here. What, what, what I'm trying to find out is, is it, is it a normal thing for a woman to fall in love at first sight multiple times? No. Uh, 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 no. Uh, no. It's Again, not. Dan, Dan, okay. stop using the two terms that are different interchangeably. Stop using them like that. No. no well, <laughs> all right. So... What I uh, it also obviously what love really is is subjective, um, mm -hmm. but if you go by the, the the average definition of love, then it's a it's a deep seated feeling that you have for somebody else. Yeah, I'm listening to you. Yeah, all right. Somebody so, somebody just bowl the world for the, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, Daddy Rude. You, you remember you remember you remember Goodyear factory, uh, of a man there. Which factory? Good year, good year, the tire Yeah, factory. yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, but, uh, but at the same time, you know, when me, me, when me just a ton teenager, you know, me meet one girl, one somebody over there in a version. I hmm. uh, was telling her, I didn't mind me. Hey, you see the driver go back up um, to Poland, you know? Uh, she it's actually about called. 40 different, it's about 40 different times for, 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 for the same night for the driver. My dream, my, my, my dream about this girl, I know. Really? I know who like, I know, I know, like, couldn't sleep. Like, hey, I'm about 13, 14, you know. Oh, my goodness. What, what do I you call that? What right. was that for you? But I love that, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Teenage but, love. But, but. Teenage love, yeah? <laughs> no, 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 come to me, sir, uh, uh, infatuation. Okay. Nah, man, because I'm a slim girl and she's sexy and anything there. Yes, it was love. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, all right, and, and that, that's just one time when you when you when you're in your teenage years and early You're a man, years, darling. You know? Men are gonna tell us that they fall in love. They, they oh, like, not fall right. in love. So, they love so all every so Monday. So almost. All right. So you're admitting then that is more normal, quote unquote, for for men to fall in love at first sight like, multiple times. It is than women, normal right? for men to see a woman and say them love the woman. But uh, but uh, other lady matter by himself. You believe. It's possible. No, I didn't say fall in love, you know. I said, Sierra said in love her. Could be possible. Could be also a case where they're just telling a lie. 
Because nah, the problem, is, they will, see, they, they will even tell her they love her because they want to get under her skin. Men, they will men tell her they love her, Dan Dan, to get under her skin. You know that. But, but, see, that's what I come down to now. No. Men's feelings are much more natural and true ah, for the opposite sex. That sometimes a woman, you know. No, no, disrespect, no, no, disrespect, no disrespect against a woman, you know. Dan Dan. But, but, but a lot of times men sell themselves in a brethren. Dan Dan. You know, my yeah. sister have a conversation since week, right? And we were talking about the difference between how a man love or why a man love and what a man love versus how a woman love and why a woman love and what a woman love. And me give her mm. the prime example, say, the connection that women make with sex and love. Right? During sex, you hear a woman say, boy, baby, me love you, you know. And the man said, boy, baby, we love your sex. <laughs> you know that, though? Mm. The sex yeah. turn up. Right? She gone on the whole different dimension. Oh, that, oh, loving me, get right there. So all of a sudden, at the first, you hear it. But we are keep it real. We are telling the truth. We love the sex, I will love how your sex. Oh, but a woman, I got to tell mm. her, boy, all emotion, me love you. Hug you up and squeeze you and all them something there. Why? No. Like what you say, feel we love is more true than a woman love. Yeah. And we are too of your face for. And that's why, that's why, that's why, that's why um, a, a lot of men, um, we get tricked, you know. They love somebody and, uh, right away, and you know, uh, and the woman realized that, and then just play, play, just, play, just play, play, play away. The man, um, because for one more real. Are you serious? Yeah. Yes. Um, sometimes, sometimes, so, so, sometimes, not the man. The man, I'll, I'll, I'll buy, I'll buy house and I buy you for the man and thing, and you know, and it's just, and, and it's just for the boy, Dan Dan. Me the not go down the road with the man, you know. Hmm. Me not follow them, you know. Me not buy none of that for no woman, no puppy. Me not the panic. But, but clear, but clear. Remember, remember you know, when I was saying men weak, you know, men, men weak, you know. And because, and because of your quote unquote weakness. We that means say you guys are weak. You like show us how weak you are. Huh? We, do, we weren't the ones who said that you were weak. You show how weak you are, some of you. <laughs> no, whoever wants to show it or whatever, you know, it, 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 it's, it's just the reality. All right, and it, it, it might be embarrassing for me as a man to say, yeah, man, we're weak like that, man, but I don't say it, so I don't say it, God. Yeah, but it's possible, the reality still remains. It is possible for a man to see a woman and love the woman he sees. And it's possible for a woman to see a man and love the man she sees. In the very same way, we sometimes see somebody and... Your spirit just not into that person. You just can't stand the set of the person. They've done you nothing wrong, but your spirit crossed towards the person. But it's the very same way, the very opposite is true. If that can happen, why can't the opposite to that be true? You, you follow what I'm saying? Okay. Because I'm sure there are people out there who will tell you, I saw this person. The person and I have had no interaction. But there was just something about them that just turned me off. So in the very same way, Dan Dan, that can happen. A man can see a woman or a woman can see a man and say, wow, there's just something about the aura of this person that draws me and I feel love towards them. It is possible. And it has happened. So we need to stop pouring cold water on the fact that we can love at first sight. Because yes, we can. Dan Dan, later here, sir. <laughs> All right. Look. Uh, uh, I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say. Dan, Dan, a rubbish shit talk. What are you afraid to tell us a shit talk? Yes. Rubbish. Go ahead, Dan, Dan. No, nah, man. <laughs> Listen, man. Look, 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 man. <laughs> yeah, but um, listen. <laughs> All right, is it the, the point? What do I want to know? The, the bridge you meet at the bank, you know. The, when that was in wife, like, that 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 could have that, that, that could have been one of ten, you know, that him fall in love with. It no, at first it sight, no you know. matter. The point is, the point at hand is loving somebody at first sight. It has happened. Yeah. 
to people. All right, but 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 not because you don't find for your love at first sight. I mean, say like it can't happen. Yeah, What's wrong but, with but, you? But that but that in itself not is not unusual. So I mean, I'm not nothing for really right to about. So why are you pouring such cold water on it? You and you and daddy rule. What's wrong with you all? You heartless, uh, cold-hearted men. No, no, clear. We just, we just Who don't open up yourselves to love at first sight? No, we're just putting things in perspective. We don't really want, why I go overboard. Um, the you fact know, that when, you when, loved when me at first sight is good enough. Good night, Dan Dan. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But when but, 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 but I go too overboard. It gone when, already, when, my when, love. Um, Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, gone already. All right, anyway, All right, right Dan Dan. <laughs> Sherelle in Toronto says, men relate differently to love. They are physically attracted to a woman. Females love emotionally. We love from the heart. And you know why? Listen, and that's that what I try to explain for years now, you know. Physical attraction is by design, right? All persons who have an issue with men being physically attracted to a woman don't love God, <laughs> right? Because it is by design. Men don't shape like women. Men don't look like women. They shouldn't. Right? So, by design, we were supposed to be attracted to what is before us. So, naturally, we're going to say, yo, we love how that girl look. We love our lips. We love how she shape. We love this. We love that. And that's what the thing said. Anything, or anything outside, anything what outside what of that. What we're talking about. Yeah. Loving shape and loving. No. Sherry, Hello. No. Hello. Hold on. Hello. Call her on the 453. Good night, Call her. Welcome good, to the show. Good, good night. How you doing? Um, really clear. Why Dandan head is so stiff? <laughs> Why Dandan head is so stiff? Yes. Love for the first time. Yes. You see the person and you say you love the person. That don't say you have to go and have sex with the person. Mm -hmm. You love the person. And you can see a person for the first time and it is your husband or your wife still dead. Than than any two stiff. Mm -hmm. It's just that him to understand what you are saying to him. You can see a person into a nice kind lady clear. Yes. Pants look good and you say, you know, me love that pants, but me would be weary. Yes. See if you understand. You love the punch now, but you would be weary. Yes. Oh, Lord. We lost you. Oh, my. We invite the caller to call back to share the rest of our view. Of course, it's 876-453-1444. Uh, and we do invite other persons who are listening in. Please feel free to call us. No? Yeah, man. And tell us about this view that you have. Whether you think it is possible to love somebody at first sight. We want to go quickly to a Vox Pop or a cup of Vox Pop. Yep. And then we come back to part two of the Vox Pop. I do believe in love at first sight. However, um, it can be very tricky because it can be infatuation. But I do believe in love at first sight. Also, for a lasting relationship, I will prefer to be loved because with love, true love, any true love can overcome anything, whether it be respect or whether it be of... Um, what a person needs or wants but i believe that love because love conquers all only perfect love casts out any fear any fear of not being respected any fear of not being loved any fear of wanting or needing to feel as if you belong love casts all of that out to me and in terms of wedding vows I will be 50-50 saying that they're spiritual cliche because a person can say anything of the day, but I do believe that people did or comment, um, commit when they say those words. A lot of times it is not held on to because of stuff that happens and then I go back to the beginning that it's perfect love that cast out any fear. Perfect love can make anything happen. And the only one true person that has perfect love is Christ. And that's the love that I will use I use for my husband, which is perfect love, the love that Christ has for me and showed me up on Calvary. So that's the love. Once you have love, his pure love and there's nothing else to conquer. So, yes, I believe in love at first sight. And love conquers all to me. And 
the vows are a spiritual cliche. I mean, they do mean something at the day, but I don't know how many people will commit to them. But it's a commitment that um, that takes through the process. So that's my answer. Well, wedding vows for me, I don't know, honestly. Because people take this vow and marriage again there are people married for different reasons people not just marriage no is not honorable like in the Asian days so it's not something like say people's first way it is spiritual or yes that was in the Asian days no marriage is just based off of monetary fund material stuff no honorable stuff no loyalty you know in a marriage anymore people just married based off of stuff that you can get people married for different reasons so marriage is not like back in the days like when we know our parents was growing up so you know that marriage was honorable those days and you can say yes it's a spiritual vow that we look up to but to me no 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 Marriage mean anything, no, because people have marriage for different reasons. Real talk. Anybody tell you about love at first sight, that is impossible. People say they do, but for me, it's very impossible to tell somebody that you love them at first sight. The both of them is important. No one want to go in a really enter relationship and enter relationship and enter. When you enter the relationship, by tomorrow you you ending, you getting out of it. But for you, if you have a long last relationship, you got to be respect. And if you, if each other no respect, there's no respect between each other. The relationship will won't be going anywhere because the most important thing in relationship is communication and respect you have to respect each other because first if you go be with somebody and you don't respect the person no point being with that person so for me to me the both of them come bind together because with men they don't care about relationship like whether it lasts or not but basically women always on the other side, side when once they enter a relationship they're looking for long-term relationship okay then welcome back to the show vox pop is on right now and of course we go to the text line quickly what's that message from tigo says enough time man tell woman say him love her him love her sex him love our sex. Him love our sex, sorry. You don't know what's no it's a say. Mm -hmm. And him <laughs> not mean it. Him just said that to make sure him have a spot when him want to cool off. Oh my God. <laughs> hmm. How about going into some cold water somewhere, eh? Oh my God. All right, so the next um, text, um, um, Cassidy, from the WhatsApp line um, comes from, well, we got that one already, no? Cheryl says, men really different yeah. to sex. We got that one earlier. Um, how can you love someone you don't know? 7649 asks. Maybe you can love something about the person. That may But about. that's also possible, my dear. But you can also see them and love what you see. Because I was just telling that it has happened to me on two occasions. I remember, I couldn't remember it before, but I remembered as I was there brainstorming and thinking back. It has happened to me before. This one says, no first love anymore. Not in this time. Lisa, really? It has happened. I went to college in 1997. You're old. And... Uh, my closest friends can tell you that, yes, I saw my college friend that, who that, became my college friend for the was, very first time that was when I walked in the classroom. Fantasy, oh, my no, girl. Man. Fantasy. No, when I walked in the classroom, I remember the batch of 2000, the batch of 99, the batch of 98, those young men were some real fine, dopperly dressed young men of the Michael College back then. It's now Michael University. But back then, when you walked into that room and looked at those Michael men, you were wondering if there were some scholars, some sophisticated men who were well in them big jobs because them dressed so nicely and looked so good and professional. You know, that was a trick, And right? I remember... And you got caught. No, no, no. But there were so many of them and I didn't get caught. The point, the point I'm making is there was one particular person who... I just loved him. When name? Call him name. 
I just loved it. Call him on name. Gizzy, big up your... I don't think he's listening, but <laughs> those who... My, like I said, my closest friends would have known. Where name? And alias was Gizzy. No, where name? Gizzy. <laughs> 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 so, I can remember... I can remember Boy. going into the classroom. I, I think we had use of English. Yes, we Mr. Mr. Hamilton. And... He was just... You remember Hamilton name, but you remember Gizzy name. Yeah, you know, conveniently so. So, <laughs> I remember seeing Maki in the room, and he was just... I just loved him. Out of everybody else in the class who just looked really good and sharp and smart, pleasant smiles and, you know... But he was just quiet. And friends see sitting him. There. I just well, love well, him. Friends see him, you want him. No, I just love him. No, I just man. Him. Friends see him, you want him. Want you never want him. Eh? Not really, no one. Yeah, I tell you what, your face. You know what? Ladies oh. and germs, it is now. <laughs> <laughs> the point I make is not no, like 10 times. You, you get catch, no, man. No, man. You didn't want didn't him. I love that particular. I it, saw him and I just loved him. And you'd want him. And the more I got to know him, I loved him even more. You didn't want him. You didn't want him. It's now 10.30. We soon come the back. The time is brought to us by <laughs> VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio, Stage and Light. You don't see our we soon face. come back to Mix Up Road. <laughs> Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 9322266 DIB Block Factory and Hardware Supplies Limited, your home for the widest selection of building materials and hardware supplies in Portland. Shop everything from plumbing to electrical to home decor. Find unbelievable prices on tiles, toilets, basins, faucets, shower enclosures, vanity sets, doors, windows, numbers, and much more. Get up to 25% off at DIB Hardware the last Friday and Saturday of every month with their mega month in sale. Visit any three locations in Portland, Buff Bay, St. Marvis Bay, and Port Antonio. Call 993-4415. DIB Hardware. Your foundation starts with us. Styles FM will be on location with an outside broadcast at the St. Thomas Jerk Festival on Sunday, July 29th at the License Pavilion, Morant Bay. Join the Styles FM team from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. for intermittent coverage of activities, interviews with patrons, sponsors, and vendors. Styles Outside Broadcast is sponsored by Universal Electrical and Plumbing Supplies, Walford, Morant Bay, and St. Thomas Taxi Association, Rum Store Plaza, Morant Bay, St. Thomas. You know, it's a boy brand judgment representing for your team called Powerful Cow in association with Yavin as Becky, Lovin as Teach, and Rabbit as the chef. Presents their fifth annual boat festival and bike show. The first month of August 2018. Place today, Bart Primary and Juna I Bart Center Mass. Lose Pipe, Hard Pun South. Admission, adults, $300, children, 150 Lots of rides and activities for the entire family. Menu, everything in a goat, curry, jerk, don't stew, and what I'm saying, chop suey. Huh. Hi, Rabbi, don't forget me, go take soup, love me. Make sure you tell Gabby to remind me now. Go to never want to go nowhere. <laughs> Brand Judgment representing Pound for Pound World Festival Bike Show. Ladies, get ready for Passa Passa in the East. Security promotion in association with Buckle present Passa Passa in the East Part 15. Yeah. Saturday, August 4, 2018, at Limbers Lawn, Pomeran St. Thomas, featuring Stone of the Royal Martial, next international rich release. Yo, the juggling look lucky star. Admission only $500. Ladies and gents, come make your statements, but don't forget to drink responsibly. Passa Passa in the East. <laughs> Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Delrose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back and big ups to my friend, Kevin. 
in Florida, locked into stars all the time. Yes, I believe in love at first. You don't have to have any reason. Thank you so much, Kevin. He has experienced it, no doubt. Um, so let's go back and see what's happening on the in, Vox Pop. Yeah, on the Vox Pop. Blessings, real time family. Blessings. And I have to jump in on this, you know. They say that I love you, baby, and I love you more or something. That are just people are trying to outdo each other. Yeah. Experience. Outdo them are trying to outdo other. Because you will love somebody to a limit. And it's fuck. Or you have to love them more. Or you have to start cut off your finger and prove to you love them more. No. Okay. Believe in a love at first sight. Believe in a love at first sight. <laughs> I mean, I have a lot of fun now in the cars. I tell you why. I look pretty coming to me. Little family would not even believe our joy and I feel in my belly part. But yeah, man, believe in a love at first sight thing. But it's the approach and how long after that I make the approach. And what leading up to it. And what the outcome after I make the approach. Yeah? Yeah, you can't see somebody I love them and never chat to them ever. Yeah, man, correct. Right I love Megan Good enough. Megan Good and my wife, you know, but I never meet Megan Good yet. You understand? <laughs> but I don't know what things said. Um, more relevant. Right now, I respect, you know. I respect. You see, if you respect the person, you can love them to a certain point. You get me? If respect not dead, you don't make no sense to love somebody. Because you're going to love them, and yet still, you know, you do some crazy stuff. You know, we more time, we just get idiot. You understand? So, that, 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 love something before, you know, really work. Respect. Respect, me say. Wedding vows. <laughs> I, a lot of people, well, even me, even me, I put myself on the spot. Me don't fully get the wedding vows thing. You understand? Some would I say it's more of a of a, a spiritual thing than anything else. Because after you see them stuff there and you see some something go on in your past relationship, your past your, your past marriage, I should say. You know say boy if I was I just on something where you just say. <laughs> the, the stuff that you mean and the stuff that you do every day to show that person say yeah you know so it's just a spiritual thing and that's my belief big up on yourself real talk family good night real talk family um there's no such thing as love at first sight you know there's no such thing Connections, yeah, maybe you're connected, you feel connected, or you feel drawn to the person, but love, really? And um, as it relates to love versus respect in a relationship, which one more? Both of them are important, but um, respect goes a long way, because out of respect, you can develop that love. You can find that love for that person out of the respect for um, towards how that person treats you. So, we will go with respect for no one there. When it comes to the last part of the, the thing now, um, wedding vows are serious things. They're serious, serious commitments. And, and uh, I oath because you take it before God and man. So yes, you have sworn to that. Me not believe in a play around with them something there. Eh? Me not believe in a day with no married man. Me not believe in a woman, no married woman supposed to go there. They with no, I, mean, I don't believe in that part because the last time I checked, it was like seven years worth of destruction. I don't know if you've gone up by this. So maybe you reach out 10 years now. That's just not me. So uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Real talk. Real talk. Boy, my love, by now you've gone up, I suppose, 10 fours because you know, that's sitting we are going on with that. <laughs> seven <laughs> years is no longer the time. Hold it more. But thanks, guys, for the Vox Pop so far. We do have more to come. So, um, so my man, so that's why no woman no want me? Yes, probably. They're afraid of the destruction. <laughs> <of> the <technology>. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. We're going to take them, I tell you. Um, so, of course, we're going to cut from the aspect of love at first sight. There are persons who say they believe in it. And as we go through the others, we'll hear more. Um, love at first sight, for some people, is a yes, it happens. 
it can happen. Others will say no to it. But of course, it's up to you, based on what you've experienced in life, to know if it's possible. Maybe for you it hasn't happened as yet. Maybe it will happen. Maybe it will never happen for you in that way. But for those who have experienced it, you know what you have experienced. All right? So we go to the other part of the Vox Pop. And we talked about whether love or respect, right? Do you believe in, okay, sorry, which is more relevant to a lasting relationship, love or respect? And I think, honestly, if love is viewed in the way it ought to be viewed, or if love is expressed in its true sense or an essence, then I would want to choose love. And because if, if, if Daddy Road is, into a relationship with Lady Cleo. <laughs> Hear this now. <laughs> you know, I don't normally use our examples. So I don't know why I'm going to you know, take me on, you know. <laughs> Let me just change that, change that right now. Do, please. If <laughs> God, the ending not look good. <laughs> there are so much on each, each other's throats every night that if we can't really use ourselves, as, as, ourselves as, as examples. But that road is in love with Nyla. Yeah? Word speaking. And... Uh, like our ship. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> if it is that he really loves her in the way that the good book tells us to love each other. This book? Not that book. Do. <laughs> that one going to fire. <laughs> the Holy Bible. If that, if that love is demonstrated to her in the way that he wants her to love him then I just think it's automatic because the Bible tells us that love is patient. It's kind. It's not puffed up. Right? Yeah, man. First Corinthians. I think it's 13. Yeah. It tells you, <clears throat> sorry, what and how love behaves itself. <coughs> sorry. Mm, you see, love a choke you. <laughs> love a choke you. Yes, man. Hold him, love. Hold him. Hold him. Kiaz, get some water for him. They do. Once I love her, hold me. All right. <laughs> I can't take that around. <laughs> yes. See there? The, the, in the city, it says, next thing you must do is repent. Repent. You see it? <coughs> repent. But love. No. So, loving the person will speak to how you relate to them. But, but oh, you're a man. I do love business. Eh? Okay, I manage so this love, 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 love business. You're going to respect how they feel. Look here. Respect their desires. Compromise when you can. Discuss. Have a good communication. And you might not say eye to eye all the time. You, you know what say, Respect well the on. person's view. No, hold on. <coughs> Drink some more of that. You know what say, me and moms are talking this week. But the same love and marriage business, yeah. same exact thing we are talking about since week. And me I sure I said, boy, right now, it's not even love again. I don't love again. What is it? And what I'm supposed to do. And what <laughs> me, I, I, I don't love that. It, became, it becomes a responsibility. No, your love has become seasoned with each no, other. No, 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 my girl. It, no, it is no a responsibility. <laughs> what, 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 what I'm supposed to do, what I'm not supposed to do. Right? And once you do what you're supposed to do in a relationship, everything all right. <laughs> so it has nothing to do with but love. Is that loving her? No. Nothing to do with love. Is my it girl. Doing what you're supposed to do a part of loving. Is it loving her a part of what you're supposed my to do? My girl, he's a married man, ten years now and going about her level, I'm not even sure. Right? And I couldn't tell when last I tell mom say moms I love you. I couldn't shame tell when last on you. Me not shame. But in a shot at things being done and taking care, in a shot at but care. But the love is eh? shown in that way. You know who talk about... Well, what? I, well, it's better well, you well, shown than you tell me, you know. You know who talk about love more than anything else in your feeling? Ooh. When Moe said, Daddy, I love you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's how you feel it. And what you talk about? Guess what? When your wife should say, if your wife should say, I love you now, you're going to be blushing. That's the point. No. Yes, you blush. None at all. You're not casting this. <laughs> A while going to when it melt like butterfly, you must be mad. <coughs> eh? None at all. I think you become so seasoned in love that your routine things um start to take over. Yeah. But because you're not you're not disrespecting your wife. No. You're not um, um ill treating her. You're not 
neglecting the, the, the things around the home to do, then it that also that demonstrates man. that you love her. That's what I'm saying. So what I'm saying to you, it becomes a responsibility no. to move from love. No, it's still love. Are say? If you no longer loved her, then you would not be there still and doing the things that you're doing. Mom's call me right now and say, boy, you know, see so the car puncher. Me say, my girl, a long time, me tell her to change tire. So now you better call me, you know, if you learn of a change tire. You would not, right? not tell Miss J that. Oh yeah, I said, man, me call Eddie, my bridge, you know, and I said, Eddie, go shit in time. We're not ever out the road, boy. Let's not talk you that see? for me. So, yes, and because you love her, you did that. No, it's a responsibility for me to say that change. <coughs> it's a responsibility. Let's see what the texters are and saying. I feel understand. Two different something. You don't know, no, hey, clear, you don't say no, 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 nothing about love. Like you talk, you talk about some, some, some mills and bones Mickey, business. Um... 2221 says, me keep hearing people pronouncing love to each other and yet don't show it. And me, and then that me, I say, man, <laughs> what, what, my responsibility. You have to show it. Don't tell me you love me, you don't show me it. Sorry. You know that me, I say, what me, I want to tell you for? So I'm, I prefer you show me than tell me. Be yes. Honest. Honestly, I would prefer that a thousand times. All you know, clear, you got a friend, boom, thousand US. <laughs> I love you, uh, Daddy Rose. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Talk about Cassidy. You, don't even, you see, just do what you feel do and everything all right. Simple as that. Argument done. Right away, you know, it's a proper sort out to Cassidy. Yeah, I. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> so, I don't. I, for me, the reason why I say respect is more important than love is because. Big man thing, not because a woman have a bun me out right now, well, then bun me out enough time for a night. You see, when you talk about how you treat somebody, it more have to do with whether you respect them or you don't respect them. Rather, a woman respect you. See, if you respect me, you're not going to diss, you're not gonna diss me, you're not going to give me a bun. For one. But it don't <laughs> but, but, but mean, say, but it don't mean say, you don't love me. And that's how people make, make, make the mistake. If you didn't love me, you wouldn't go with the dirty girl. And if you but if you did, no, you wouldn't. No, man. If you did, you wouldn't. The love is the same way. And the love not change. Does not respect me? Yeah, that, man. I <laughs> <laughs> lose respect for you. But I still love you. <coughs> if you understand. A but two is completely love, different something. It's true love without respect. One not generate from the other, none at all. Yes. Two different something. No, one over this and one over this. No. Yes, they do. Look at that synonym if you say love and respect together. <laughs> you will never see it. Let's find that, please, Cassidy. You'll never see it. If, if you see it, but she my middle name. Is, type the question in for me. Is, is respect a synonym for love? All right. I say, if that did a Cassidy, me change my middle name. What name? What name again? George. Oh, jo oh Jesus. <laughs> no, I forget your George. How can I forget George? And they, well. <clears throat> Let me type it in for this yes. Cassidy. Yes, so love. How about this? Turn on it. Love, <laughs> love versus respect. <sighs> you know, to be honest with you, I think, I think I'll right. go for love because if I really love the man, I understand, in my view, my humble view, I think if I really first love the foremost, man, then I ought to respect him. Well, what is something. love without respect? First and foremost, Zin, me and in a house and we live together, we have argument. First and foremost, if you respect me, you would never raise your voice off me, but that doesn't mean you don't love me. No, hold on, hold on. Get right? on. No, no, stop. No, stop. You see it? Stop. You see it? You see it? If you love me and you happen to get upset, because you're human, mm. we can get upset and our voices can get raised. No, get, don't raise your voice off of me, my When girl. I get angry, my voice gets louder. No, you don't respect me. No, because, no, you can't say that. Because, I love you. Because you're the neighbor, them know, so we are quarrel. You don't respect me. You never respect the household. Get out. No. <laughs> that. <laughs> me talk about right now. No, but even if I raise my voice and I because I love you so much and ultimately you love me raise respect, your voice? hold on a man, because I love you so much and no, ultimately man. respects you, you're gonna say to me, Listen, you're loud. And I'm gonna recollect myself and say, Oh yes, I don't wanna be loud because I don't wanna get out of line and whatever and get everybody well, involved. Well, and it's everybody hearing our conversation. So well, I'll get back in line because we are human and we you're not sure go, about we not go. Well, well on, are you sure about that? So you're that tone, you're, you're that Amplify yourself right away. You're sure about well, that? Hold on, no. let me tell you what. what it I depends apply. on the circumstance. No, it depends on what he must say to me. No, man. In all, all right, honesty, well on, well on. and the human well, speaking. Well, on, me come home, me, me come home six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right? Well, well tired, well frost out. Your question is, 
Where are you coming from? Why are you, you coming so, you come so late? My girl, my big man, no question. No, man, judgment, man. <laughs> judgment, start right this up. You don't answer, Mr. Man. No, but if you answer, love me, no answer, Mr. Star. No, but I tell you, no, I just me love you, but you don't know, think that I just fall in. Yeah, disrespect right? me, you love me? My no, girl, hold on, man. Disrespect and love don't go no, together. No, but I'm a big man, you can't ask me where I come from. You don't respect me age, neither, man. <laughs> How are you deal with? Let's see if love and respect are synonymous. None at all, you man. If love and respect are the same, let me see what that says. my middle name from George to part. Bring that, bring that up. Let, bring that. Let me see. Oh, uh, blow that up, yeah. Cassidy did it. Don't Sometimes. Do Cassidy don't do that. Cassidy do not do that. Thank Don't make clear. Tell if you blow up nothing. Thank you. Jesus. Sometimes we can respect a person even if we are not in love with that person. Knock pan, knock Hold pan, knock pan. Two people can live together even if they do not love each other. Thank you. But are respectful towards right. each other. Love is a feeling, but respect is something which is earned. Aye. Feeling of love is not in our hand, but respecting someone is. See so it? that matter of telling no say if it is that See the stronger it? feeling two different hold on a man. one over this sir and one over this sir. Respect is earned, you know. Respect is earned. Yeah. So I can love you, yes. I can but and I'm saying the stronger one there is love. Loving no. the person, the stronger of the two. My girl, for you see me, you love me, you know, you know must respect me. Yeah, but no, no. Man. Hold on, man. Got, suppose by the time, by, by the time over and, 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 and yes, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. You see me, and you just love me. Me tick and me nice, and my belly round, right? <laughs> and you say, yo, me just love all that you that look nice and him head ball and all them something. There. And by you say, hi, me say, wah, go on, girl, everything good. You look sweet and sexy, you know. I mean, I carry you home tonight, you know. Yeah, and do you want me to do you? Ew. You yeah. like that? You know, go respect that, turn but, you off. but you don't love me already. Love what? <laughs> <laughs> love what, man? Is that turned me off a long time. I it, love you. Is it you love me? You love done. You love, love done? done, man. Jesus. Got a kinaki, that kinaki approach there, that animalistic approach, going really, really turn me off. No, but your approach, Mr. still not say anything. I get your technique. <laughs> you know, you know. The thing is, not me not approach nobody. That's at the point. I can guarantee that. <laughs> but, but you see it? That's proof that love and respect are two different things. Yeah, and I'm saying, if you love somebody, then it should be. Easy ladies for you to then respect them because ladies, you love them that much. And plenty men. You see, if you don't feel comfortable with a boy, you don't love the person, just a boy. It's just my boy, um, you love me, just respond me, respect you. Right? At least a man supposed to feel better for no sorry right, the woman respecting. So if the woman respect you, she now gonna deal with deal with certain things. She now gonna disrespect you. None at all. Well if you're gonna love me and don't respect me, don't bother love me. Sorry. Because for me they interrelate. I don't know my girl. Right now. Love me to this point where the way you love yourself and you want me to love you, love me that very same way. And for me, with that love comes a level of respect for the person. It should come with it with it. That's my take. Oh, sir. Love too you 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 love too weak, my girl. You love weak? weak. Yeah, man. You love weak. What's weak about that love? Yes, man. Collect co collect with a mix. No one no one at the tea bag runway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? <laughs> that tea bag is not going nowhere here, man. Somebody move with that tea bag. The tea bag says I'm mixing something weak. I said, I don't know how that's a mix. Right. Yeah. Let's mad. look at the other part to this. Oh, by the way, let's see some more. Let's get some more um, Vox, what, pop. Vox Pop messages, a voice. When you talk about um, love or respect, which one is more relevant? Um, I don't believe in any over the other because if you love somebody, you respect that person. Um, relationship wise, any any relationship um, that you have and the person does not respect you and that person is professing love for you. I don't think that person is um, have any love for you because I believe that love and respect walk, walk and in hand. I believe that love at first sight, uh, yeah, I believe in it. It is a possibility because you can meet somebody for the first time and you develop an affection for that person. You see the person, you just, you know, develop that affection for the person. So I believe in love at first, first sight. What I, I, I 
don't believe in is the being in love with somebody when you meet them for the first time because uh, being in love with someone when you meet them for the first time it can't happen because being in love meaning that you have to know the person know that person's faults and still love that person regardless of the the, the, the faults that that person has so I sort of look at it at two different in two different ways um, seeing somebody and loving that person because you see maybe you see the outer beauty and all of that and you say oh I love that, that man there I love that woman there so you can use that term so you can be you know see a person that, uh, 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 and develop love for them at first sight but it's different from being in love with that person right based on the question which is more relevant in a lasting relationship love or respect well for me um i would say love because when you love you'll be able to conquer everything else and then i think that's where respect will come in if you love somebody or you love something you do at anything at all costs to protect it so that's my view Oh, welcome back to the show. And of course, Daddy Rudy's here making fun of my tea bag, and Gracie thinks that a tea bag gets feet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so people are still sharing their views. We have a caller on the 453. Good night, caller. Welcome to the show. Hello, good night. I was just coming from Kingston and I heard the program. Oh, great. I Yes, and some men were saying, mm -hmm. talking about love at first sight. Yes. So I was saying to them that. Um, what a man sees physically. Yes. And what he sees might impress him. But he has to date the person, maybe find out background and, yes. uh, and other qualities before the true love steps in. Mm -hmm. So I said to him, love, loving, loved, and to be in love are separate things. Mm hmm because people are different, and because this is so, we perceive the same things in different ways. Right. Because I think it can be auditory, that is what you hear. Yes. Visually, what you see, and... All factory too. What, what you Smell. feel. What you feel. Yes. So I believe that different people express their love in different ways. And also different persons desire to be loved in different ways. But I think respect plays a great part in love. And I yes. think once you love, you will respect that person. Yes. But sometimes men do not. Um, I think sometimes maybe they are too hasty. Mm -hmm. So what our women will have to do is to have something to hold a man's interest. Yes. <clears throat> because men mostly see the physical first, and yes. that's what attracts them. Okay, my darling. What's your name, darling? Miss Solomon calling from Erie Castle. All right. I'm glad you're home safely and keep listening, all right? Okay, thank you. Good. Have a great night, my darling. Thank you. You too. All right. So there she got in and she tired and she called in. That's really nice. All right. So... <clears throat> Love and respect. And she said that when you truly love somebody, then respect will play a part. And I, that's my view, too. When you really, really love somebody, it plays a part. Remember, you're free to call in or to text in. The number is 876-453-1444. Or overseas, it's 954-338-7973. And you can also go to Facebook. Check out Styles FM 961 and look at the fan page and leave a comment or two. Feel free to do so. All right? Um, <clears throat> sorry. Right, so you so, still think that <clears throat> you'd prefer the person to love you than yeah. to respect you? I, I'm not saying that, you know. I, I said that I would go for him genuinely loving, just loving me in the way that he would want me to love him because I think respect should then let me ask come right in place. For you, we have, we have a minute for mm -hmm. you. What exactly is love what does love means to you for you love is looking out for a person's 
well-being you care for them in such a way that for one you don't want to see any harm come come come, come to, to them whether from you or anybody else and the things that you can do to ensure that they are happy and always comfortable you know you're gonna try to do it and if it means making sacrifices or compromises for the person you're gonna do it and sometimes too even when it means and sacrifices mean giving up something that you even want for yourself to ensure that the other person is sometimes comfortable and i'm th i'm thinking if the person can do the same back for you then to me that epitomizes love because you're doing for somebody what you would also want them to do for you my girl you know the difference between love and coexist you know i'm a guy oh please time, time it's now 11 o'clock <laughs> the time is brought to us by vj printing services and real talk is sponsored by native audio stage and lighting come back for the next hour of the show Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at Eight nine three two two six six. I'm here to say them finos are the hype block I represent for the one here. Full effective like a detective. You see me I say? I'm here to say them finos are Sean Ali as mother in association with SSC. Young money, me back, rich and happy. And I did my present the bike show here, you know. And it's not only a day show, you know. It's also a night show. You see me I say? I'm here to say you when? The 6th of August and that's a Monday, 2018. Place to be at School Road, George Bush Shop. Right there, so just pull up on your yeng yeng or your RR bike, you see? You don't know the thing going on. I'm here to say you're Mount Pleasant. And bike as I go roll into you know Rush Rider from Moby Make it from Ochi So you know so the thing I go normal as me tell you And me I say them finos that lunch on the day as well too you know so The food and the thing that go debout You see me I say Music by City Love yeah, man. China, um, Big low. bad town for me now we own town You see me? Chungi, how you plan come now? Why you always a hurry hurry man so? What am to you? Because more and go down at DIB Home Center Right at 11 West Palm Avenue You know so them have them grand opening Monday, July 30th You mean that big big, big pretty building on the city Right at West Palm Avenue? Yes bossy Guess what? It's going to be a historic event Because it's the only home center of its kind in Portland Me, want to shop for my house In all of the many departments that I have down there Oh, you know, so me hear Mookie a talk about it. Me hear says Styles FM will be broadcasting live from the location from 12 noon to 6 p.m. Holy heap prizes and surprises and extraordinary prices. Yes, so let's head to DIB Home Center, 11 West Palm Avenue, Monday, July 30th for their grand opening. No, sir, that one you can't miss me. Are you sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook, Styles FM 96.1. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and extra systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Delrose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Yep. Good Welcome to back to Real Talk. I had something really nice and tangy and, oh my God, minty in my mouth. Something spherical. It's a ball. People, I want sweet, really I want nice sweetie. Ball. I want sweetie because in short, never good, not too long. Really nice. Thank you, Mama J. Love right. you so much, girlfriend. What are you calling sweetie there? Um, mint, mint ball? Oh, mint ball. 
Mm, sure. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and she shared it. I wish I had two. And she shared yes, it. Yes, I shared. <laughs> yes. Right? All right, so we're back with you, and of course, we go to the other part of our box pop. Yes, this are the part we made know about. So, well, before we close that, just to say, for your relationship to be lasting, if you ask me, both of them are needed loving the person and respecting the person. Those two things intact, and you're good to go. Yeah? All right. So the next part says, do you think wedding vows are important oaths or oaths rather, or are they just a spiritual cliche? Hmm. So people just do, the, do it and just say it because, okay, so I get married yes. and the pastor so must repeat after him. Someone just repeat after him, you know, um, do you promise to love Cherish, honor. May I look for it? And look something there. Look I, look I do. May I look for it? And vows. repeat after me. I, and you say, I, Claudine Lewis, take Alfonso. No, you Stewart. will judge. <laughs> I, Claudine Lewis, I, Claudine Lewis, take you, L. George, take you, L. George, to be my lawfully. And you say, you repeat after the pastor. To have and to hold, to have and to hold. Um, for richer, for poorer. Yes. To have and to hold. Me, me not go on bad man. From this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in love, to love and to cherish okay. till death do us part. All right. According to God's All holy right. ordinance. And this right. is my solemn vow. Thank and you very much. There. All right. No. No. Which part in a that? Majority of that. You see, you see, as I know, say me are the real prof when it comes to come down to relationship. Here, here you know. I know. Me know say me are the, the guru. <laughs> Look at the wedding vows, right? Only that's one, just one sample of part. One. No, but that but that's the, the regular wedding vow. Christian wedding Christian right? wedding vow. But that's a regular wedding vow. Okay. That, that's the one we all we do. Zane? Mm, no. Some variation. Look at that. Only one line in it is all about love just one love and to cherish everything else in a that is about responsibility huh? responsibility look upon the good if you have this body and the all this body if they drop them, you pick them up you have them and you hold them you don't want to say it mean and that it mean to have and to hold for better or for worse if 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 the tire sitting bus i me cuss him every day say woman you feel over if she lose tire. the work right? And she lose her work and she's at home. Yes. You're going to be there to cherish her and my to nurture her. My responsibility. Because you love her. No, my responsibility, right? Till death do we you part. You love and respect her. You're going to be there for her. In richer or poorer. Yes, responsibility. You're going to spend all your money on your credit card. Respons or not. Because work, get her work and put it on back or something. But you're going to be there for her. Responsibility. No. Respons no, that no, love. No, it's responsibility. Love. The, the wedding vow is not about love. It's about what you fit do. No. Right? What you fit do. In love. Because if you love her, that's why you are married to her in the no, first place. No, my girl. Wait, because you love I her, you should be, what, you no, should no, no, be married no, no, to her no, for no, love. No, 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 hold on. Mark hold on, you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right? The only line about love is says to love and to cherish. That's a part right? of it. And that's the only part about love. The part about And you realize where, the, where that part comes? Well, to I'm love not. and to cherish till death do us part. That's the very last well, time, basically, you know? No, hold on. Listen. The charge that you have again no. um, from Every, God no, hold on. is to Everything. love and to cherish her till death do your part. So everything no. else before. No, 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 no. It's no, a no. part of the love. No. It, it, everything before has a comma. That's right? For rich or for poor, till death do we part. For, for, for worse and for this, better and for worse, till death do us part. Zin, sickness in health, till death do us part. Love and cherish is just one part. Right? Everything else has to do with your responsibility. You know, not to do whether you love this mother or not. L let's hear from the caller on the 453. Hello, caller. Good you night. You know that some church don't believe oh, so you have to divorce. Daddy, so I'll even hate this mother. Hello, caller. Good night. Well, go on, brother. Good night, I'm um, Elroy That night, that do that night, Clear. Yes, how are you doing, yeah. Mr. McCullough? Uh, yes, uh, um, I'm talking about, you know, like, um... 
we lost the call or we invite you to call back. I only hope it's not the credit finish. All right, link back, my brother. All right, so let's see. That's what R-Till? R-Till, that though. I think so. Yeah. This texter says 9562. Many people really don't know how to show love. So that person may love you and it's not showing. So I would rather you respect me. All right, Thank thanks you for the very text. Much. Um, let's see what else is there that we didn't get. Anything else that we didn't get, Cassidy? Um, enough man don't know the meaning of love, Gracie says. Um, cause them loss, not love. Yeah. You would write love, respect, and trust on a cake, and all them see is the cake. <laughs> <laughs> True. Write it somewhere else, oh, my dear, and all I would see is the other thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so... Um, back to the, any, any other one? No? Listen, marriage, I, as far as I see, the, the, the whole vows and the oath business, I think it's a, it's a, it's a cliche. No. Right? It shouldn't be. It shouldn't. But that, that's the thing. Mankind, mankind have turned these oaths, oaths. Oh, I keep saying oaths. What's how you eat? Cho. Mankind have turned these, this vow. It is sacred, you know? It's, 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 it's a, a promise cliche. you're making before God and man Listen. that you're going to do this. Listen. Y your word is your bond, you know? Listen. And that's why I don't rush into this marriage thing because to go, just go marry no, 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 somebody. No, 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 no. I don't well, believe no, no, in, no, the in the rushing into marriage thing. Let me tell you this. I believe into it. Let me tell you this. You're married and you never know. How come? How does regularize left you regularize it? <laughs> Adapt me and make you know. <laughs> right? That's all it is. You in a relationship oh, with Smaddy. Oh right? You live with them, you cook for them, everything I go on, the whole the whole nine yards. All you're gonna do is is go turn up in front of one pastor and do that spiritual cliche sitting there so right and regularize and, and write sitting on a piece of paper. That's no, all no, it no, is, no, but right? What, what's the sense you're then? Already if, connected. if you're saying, no, I'm not saying you're not connected to somebody well, if, no. if you live with them. Remember, no, hold on, if hold on, hold on, somebody, hold on. Yes, let me tell you something, Zane. You see this whole thing with wedding, a lot of persons put more emphasis on the wedding than the marriage, right? Sad. Well, whether it is sad or otherwise, if, if you look at all the things set nowadays, it's all about the wedding, 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 the wedding. It's not about that bond between the person. It's everything is about the wedding. Zane? So this whole um for rich or for poor until death does what and blah blah blah. All means I see. Is a good to say my wedding then the I never not near them a price so I will go on now, Cassidy. We Cassidy a charge <laughs> for, for, for photography at the whole price of my wedding them time there. See? When me look at it, the whole day. All you can think about is all this place is fan the fantasy. The fantasy of it. Before the day, I did hell just to prepare for the day. Borrow loan. <laughs> <laughs> Borrow loan. After that, you're broke for about one next five years. So, maybe two or three years after that, you yeah, try to make picnic. When the picnic do come, Everything else is all about school, this, that, nipple buckle, all kind of something. What else is there? No, man. What responsibility? Why are you looking at it like that? What's the matter with you, man? No, you man. Like those but, but are something you, you, man. There's no, this, 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 this whole thing about love intertwined with marriage. No. You understand why they married a long time. Okay. What, what's the reason behind making it formal then? If there's nothing to the vows. You know why? Why? Because we no longer want to sin fornication who are regularized sex. So people who are not Christians per se and decide to tie the knot as we put it. Yeah. You're telling me that they don't want to fornicate that's why they tie the knot. No. Let me tell you something. Uh, there uh, must Christian. be something significant you know how much, and well, well, spiritual well, well, you want me to prove about. it to you? You want me to prove it to you? No man. Check check the statistics. 1999, when them said the world had end 2000, how much people married? <laughs> Check the stats. You know, it was for what? Because what? them want to be good in the sight of God. Right? Them did done and a fornicate that long is time. Why and people that, must tell stop. You. And, and, and I'm going to say that. With that in mind, that is why people must stop looking at marriage as some spiritual cliche. We need to understand. And all those so why who, about a marriage then? Um, all those who decide to get married and planning their marriage, stop looking as marriage at marriage as another norm. 
where people just, okay, because it's formality and you have to say these vows, you say them. We need to understand that I think God is going to hold you to those vows. Let me tell You're going to be held accountable to those vows that you made. Let me promises. tell you this. You say you're swearing well, before God, say so you're, going, you're going to do this thing here. Oi. And then six months, Look two here. months. Look here, let me tell right. you this. Let me tell you this. All I did with my wedding was spend. Me not participate and nothing else but God away. If you know you're not right? genuine about the vows, then I'm going to go married. No, my girl, you don't understand All the thing. All of you who are married for the wrong reasons and because you know, don't genuinely mean it's something that you don't No, man. Say. Don't go up no, there no, and no, in no, a pretty no. clothes no. And, and I tell a life I want to sell. No, the wrong reason. And you know you only with the man because you have the money. All and you right. only with the woman because you have the money. No, no, man, I don't want really because do... of money. No, man, talk for no sense. Men do it. No, man. Men do it. No, man, we don't do those things. Men do it. And the woman wants something from her while we give her away. No, and all the time it got away there. Women sometimes become victims too because the men sweet talk them, oh honey, I love you. She said, honey, I love you. And he's like, oh honey, I love you more, you know. Yeah, they do it too. But she wants they something. They do it too. The men do it too because they want something. Some of them. No, man. The woman. The woman might have her house already, are in a good job and well and off. She, and she and need she, what? She, she, and she need what? Companionship. And she's willing to do what for it? Come on, man. No, she's willing to do what for that commodity. It's a commodity now, you know. Oh, Jesus. See? See? It's a, you know that, my girl. You have to understand it's the sad thing, that, man. No, man. It's sad that the vows which are sacred and should be honorable and truthful are taken for a joke by many people. As you say, spiritual cliche. They should not be viewed that way. It is sad. And I'm not saying it's, things can't go wrong in relationships. But sometimes some people do not... Go to the very last straw and give it the best shot to try and fix the problems. Then just jump to our next woman and our next man and gone. And they are married. Come on, man. For better or for worse, try and work it out. There are some situations that are really terrible, do you know? I mean, I lie. Do you, do you share the view? Some very terrible situations. Do you share the view that, um, that, that some churches believe that you must work out the marriage and don't divorce? Not entirely, because... I've I wish heard. I wish I would church um, believe that you're, you're not supposed to divorce her at all. There's a church. I think some of the Pentecostals don't believe in yeah don't believe in marriage. and church of God. But yeah. the reason why I don't believe entirely is because there are some situations that Imagine, can face me, me, a me husband. Want, me, me want to leave you. <laughs> there are some situations <laughs> that I've heard of cases that I've heard of where wives really do the husband bad. And the husband really, really treated the wife terribly. I've heard of cases. And I'm saying to myself, why, in all human sense, in all humanly speaking, it's going to be hard to tell somebody. that After the husband has done this to you, or the wife has done this to you, that you should continue there. It's difficult as a human being to tell the person that. I can't remember one of the stories I've heard, but I heard a story that brought tears to my eyes. Mm -mm. We mean life and death threatening kind of situation. And I'm like, no, you can't stay in that. No, a man, a man beating his wife to frazzle practically every night, every day. Beating her, she pregnant and him beat her. Mm. She not pregnant and him beat her. And then something there. You, you're going to tell a woman to stay because that's for worse. That's worse now, you know. I mean, then again, that's worse around. I can't say to a woman, yes, I know. And darling, I know him beat you every night. I know him cuff you and kick you down. I draw a knife and match it after you. But you know what? Stay because it's for better or for worse. I cannot tell her that. No, that may tell her, man. So to say to somebody, don't divorce, I will not say that because I, based on the circumstance that she's, he or she is in, then they have to decide for my life, for my safety, for my children's safety, what do I do? I heard of a case, I think it was, in, was it in Mexico, where the man, it was he, the husband, I think husband, 26 years old, um, shot shot his wife because she took too long to get ready to, get ready to go, out on, go out with him. She that was, man was dark, was man. Breastfeeding, was dark in breast dark, man. Breastfeeding the child. No, man. A different type of man. He was dark. I know one man that's a one animal. <laughs> it's a Vicious, animal. <laughs> ferocious animal. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, somebody, people who are in situations where people take them for granted and ill treat them a certain way, I'm not going to tell them to stay in that. I'm sorry. Because your life is worth more. You well, move but, on. But, but let me move ask on. you. Do you think marriage is necessary? If I believe in the Bible, which I do, I think so, yes. No, man, my girl. Be yes. a man. Be, me not born a Bible. Yes. Me, me just read the Bible. And, like, and, and, ago, you know? no, no, that's not the Bible, darling. That's not the Bible. Don't mix it up. 
Nah, man. Mar- 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 marginalist. Now. Well, not Mar- well, let, me, let me tell you what it says. Let me show you something. Marginalist. Well, not Marginalist at page 25, I think. Marge- yeah, I know the book. Page 20, 23. Are you right here? <laughs> but I think marriage is important because the Bible that I believe in as a Christian minded person tells me that it's sacred and it's righteous and it's holy. And it's the respectable thing for a man to do to leave his mother and father and cleave on, take a woman and cleave onto her as his wife. So See, I believe in marriage. What well, me tell about oh, two, the um, year 1999, Hebrew mm-hmm. 13, verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. undefiled. But, mm-hmm. whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. So, no for them in a 1990 when they say God will come in a, nine, um, in a 2000. Show them no, so them bed, not clean. <laughs> them run go married. That never sacred. That was just a whole, a whole kind of they call it now hypocrisy, mm-hmm. right? Can, and I, can I have this now, please? Thank yeah, you. go along with it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my, that's from a Bible. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh my, that's from a Bible. That green, that green plastic thing you came in here with people, I put it one side. It's not, not the Bible. Oh All that. right? So, <laughs> some people just love because of what the man or woman have. And that's sad because that's not genuine love. They love what the person has. If they don't that's love the true. person, sad, 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 sad. But, but let, let, let me ask you the question again. Do you think marriage is necessary? Yes. You're in a relationship. Do you think it's, it's, it's necessary? I think it's necessary. I think so. Do you think marriage is necessary? Um, from a Christian point of view, yes. Yes. From your point of view, do you think marriage is necessary? From a Christian, yes. You think it's necessary? Yes. So if you're in a man there, at what point one of them married? Suppose you're not married, you. Yeah. So you're saying that um, if, if you're a Christian, uh, 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 no, you're no Christian. No, but I can't speak from that point of view then. No, but like all uh, me now, me are not Christian. <laughs> right? Me are not Christian. Mm-hmm. But me know if you treat woman right. You do? Oh, you mean? Every last Jack man, one of them, when me and they left, then sorry. Hey. And you're not sorry? <laughs> Poor man. <laughs> Are you sure, man? Like? A good, better, best man. Ah. I want to you. <laughs> Especially the one who left me for you next man. You're ah. galang. Ah. <laughs> Glad to see. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. 7649 says, customize the vows according to your condition or state of mind. What's before that? Uh, that's bad. That's bad. You're going to customize the vows according to Bad as in good. Uh, hmm. I oh, know, I know that one was, was deleted. Um, the one Gracie says, the part about until death do us part is actually until I find fault. Nothing <laughs> is real. <laughs> until I find fault. <laughs> but some people have taken the until death do us part thing to another level. Because mm-hmm. there's a movie, Until Death Do Us Part, where the man married the woman and he seems quite fine. They seem quite happy. And he does everything for her. He treats her well, gives her lovely gifts, expensive gifts. And she treats him well too. They're loving and caring to each other. And until lo and behold, him psych- psychotic side kicks in. Because of course, from a child, he seems to have a lot of trauma coming, baggage coming from his past. And he just started beating her. Just start beating her, cuffing her down. And if she dares try to dare tries to leave or to stay with a friend or something. He's, he's controlling. He became a control freak. I think he was that way all along, but he was disguising who he really, really was. And she just had to leave. He tried killing her. She yeah, she had to fake her death to, to get out of the situation. And even then, he still went ahead and he found her. And I think it, it's, 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 it's unfortunate that people reach a place where, where they become so obsessed. And until death do us part does not mean I'm going to kill you if you plan to leave me. That's not what it means. Until death do us part, I strongly believe it's a case where you're together and you, 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 you struggle through. You baffle through it. And if one of us die before the other one, that's when you're now then given the leverage then to go and, and to remarry. Well, let me tell you. You know, so let me tell you. Let me perspective. Let me tell you this straight up. You see, if for some reason, right, me and mom's finna dead no more, me now married again. <laughs> and you know why? Why? 
Remember what, what, what um, Yakisha said? I don't put no woman through that trouble with me and go to like me to have them go through that the seven, seven years. Uh, 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 seven years. Uh, <laughs> a trauma there. He can't say it. Go more again the next woman like me. And go take me up. And then the woman go through seven years of curse. Mm -hmm. No, man. I just remain single. Well, not well, my marital status would be single. And you know, so I have probably have one and two or three women. Oh, and if no, nobody now got curse. I don't saw me see it. Because... <laughs> You don't have to marry to the person. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you don't have to marry to the person for sure the person say you can care for them and love them. A whole lot of people, better part of their life go on before they're married. Right? Yeah. Better part of their life go on before that. And there are some people who are not married and they are living better than persons who are who got married. Yeah, they know that, man. Yeah. After a while, my girl. You see them sexes on the way I wear? You see when they're married? Never. Never stop. Me, I Bye. tell you that. You see me, I say, on a get one way, mm -hmm. on a breast on tail. You know what I mean? Excuse us. You're excused. You see me? <laughs> so, 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 and it's, he, he, Cassidy. You see, Cassidy needs to put on your eyebrow because he, he, no, <laughs> sir. You know, on a, on no, mo, no more gym, no more this, no more that. On a get one I want, no. I just me, think. Me feel traumatized. I just think that a lot of people, men and women alike, it's sad that they take the vows for granted. And because it's such a cliche for some people, they say them, but then when the times get rough and the going get tough, yeah, they don't put their shoulders to the wheel and work together anymore. They take it for granted that they're married. Oh yeah, me and husband, me and wife. But then they don't understand the true meaning of who, what role they but, should but, play but, as but, husband but, and wife. You know what's and the reason? together in a union. One of the reasons for that you know, is because if you have an objective, if you have a goal, a lot of persons can't see beyond the goal the, the the desire the urge the whole thrust is to get a degree right you get a degree then what you have to find a new aspiration get a job mm -hmm. and you have to look job and then when you do get the job a lot of persons get complacent because them now think now that say like my good teacher friend here so I said boy she can go start her own school mm -hmm. right or she can go start some kind of um um, critical thinking, um, whatever you call it, right? So a lot of persons get complacent in mm -hmm. in 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 where they are the whole risk taking. So the objective in a lot of with a lot of persons is to become a husband or become a wife. Not you've become a husband or a wife, then what else? So they'll do whatever necessary to get up to, to that point. gain, right? That that that, that 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 status. But then afterwards. Then what? What we say? Okay, now um, the body start change, right? The man start work longer hours. Him start come home late, right? Um, she gets pregnant. She becomes a mother. The responsibility. Him have a, lo a lot of things to do again. But is not uh, everybody have the determination? Then say boom. After pregnancy, go back to gym. Go back to gym. Go tone up. Yeah. You know, do all of those things. And uh, everybody, uh, and uh, everybody blessed that. with that. Um, we call it now. That 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 that. Family treat herself a happy, small body, you know, and 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 not get much, much bigger. So, what would have attracted the person to you? It only boils down now, say boy. Oh, me love the person, but is the true attraction still there? So, what's what's keeping you know, is not necessarily real. The mm -hmm. only thing that is there is say okay. I'm in this and I'm gonna seek it out till death do us part. Mm -hmm. For richer or for poorer, for so and so. But are you honestly, honestly happy? Are you honestly don't have sight for someone else. else? Do you honestly not think in say boy Jano we could have reverse right now? Mother probably do this over again, but in a different way, probably we with a different, a different person. person. Right? So can we really and truly say yes? There is respect and there is love and there's everything that comes comes with it. A lot of persons can't. Sad to say. Thank God for the persons who can though, because there are some persons who can. Um, I just think too that in order for us to be able for, for persons who are married to be able to say that, I think e I, I've always said it. Each day, whatever happened today that made you feel loved and appreciated you know by your partner what about tomorrow doing the same thing or something a little bit more so each day you shouldn't become tired or weary of doing more that will make your 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 union grow from strength to strength 
It has happened for some people. People have been together for 30 odd years, 40 odd years. Not that they have never had problems. Problems came in, but how did they deal with it? What kept them going? What kept them together? And I think families, unions, marriages, they need to stop and just, just not look at the, the, the fact that, okay, yeah, I have a husband, I have a wife, and the wifey do this, and the wifey do that, and those I must do this, and those I must, must do that. I think many times selfishness finds its way in a marriage, and there is no room for selfishness in a worse in any relationship, let alone a marriage. You cannot allow selfishness and just me, 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 me to creep into the marriage. It is going to bring it down the hill. It's going to bring it to destruction. You have to focus on how can I do. And when I say me, 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 I'm not saying the woman no, want to go and study. She can't go and study, for example, yeah? Or the man wants to get a better job or um, spend longer hours at the workplace to try and improve on his status as in his job or whatever. He can't do that. Yes, you look at the individual man, but also look at the indi individual man in a sense where even though I'm gaining this, how am I going to ensure that I use this to benefit the union that I'm in with my husband or with my wife and not just say all right me I do this for myself I'm in a business if you want this or if she want that so guess what I just me myself me and look both and if it don't work out I just left for me done with my degree uh, and gone say, the new talk I, uh, when you say me I do, do me yeah me I do me yeah. you can't think that way in a all marriage right. ladies and gentlemen it is us. now 11 30 when we get back we close off the vox pop and we get into the juicy juicy letter <laughs> So. Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Print at 893-2266. Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text, and now WhatsApp. 518-2399. To advertise your business and events, call, text, or WhatsApp us on 518-2399. 518-2399. Don't forget, 518-2399. Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Morning, 5 a.m. The Lord's Hour on Styles FM 96.1 and 96.7. Tune in to be blessed and inspired by the Word of God and uplifting gospel music. Start your day right. Start it with the Lord's Hour. You don't know this is Craig T. Now we're representing for the Adrenaline Rush with a musical ingenious digital T. Saturdays right here on Styles FM. You don't know. 48 to make the date and don't be late. You understand? Because the new art is a new music segment. It's from 5 to 6. So make sure you're there and the girls there. I feel him, I burn up the place. It's not left no space. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Delrose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. All right, good afternoon. The questions that were asked, do you believe in love at first sight? Honestly, I am sure if it can be love at first sight, 
but you can actually see someone it's like you have a connection with them not that it is love at first sight because I think that love is something that grows you're not going to be able to just see someone and know directly if you're in love however as I said love is something that really grows it has another question is which is more relevant to a lasting relationship love or respect I must tell you, for having a relationship over 20 years, there cannot be love without respect. And there will never be respect without love either, in terms of relationship. They go hand in hand. You have to respect the person once you love them, in order for your relationship to be lasting. So both love and respect, they are like, well, I would say brothers and sister because sometimes brothers and sister fight, but I would say it would be like a mother and a, and a son relationship or a mother and daughter relationship. Love and respect, they are hand in hand. The next question, do you think wedding vows are important? Absolutely, they are. After wedding vows are commitment and if you love a person and you make a vow, you are going to keep it. Or if you make vows, you are going to keep them. So for a last relationship, you need to respect your wedding vows and you need to do as it says, the Bible, which is the word of God, you must love and you must be submissive for the male and the female. So in order to have a good relationship, you have to have love, respect, and you also have to keep your wedding vows. Thank you. Well, just like we can see a car for the first time, and you love the car, and say, yes, more want a car there, or the house or whatever. Same way you can see somebody for the first time and love them. And in a lasting relationship for me, love and respect, then go together. One work without the other. And right now, when we see people who are married, and I remember not about wedding vow. When them take that, it's like, say, then I remember not, not all about, um, about that. For me, I think wedding vows are important. And they are not just spiritual cliches. It's just a matter of whether or not people will live by them. Um, wedding in and of itself is considered a contract. Two people entering into a partnership and must agree to certain terms and conditions. The wedding vows are the terms and conditions. I know most of them now are usually written by some spiritual leader or whatever. But it would be nice for people to sit down and work out what it is, what conditions and, um, you know, um, principles that do, they would want their relationship to be based on and the vows could be um, done based on that but vows are usually set to guide people as to how they are to operate in a marriage and whenever things come difficulties come then you are guided by those words that you swear to that listen I'm going to stand by these words and whatever so it holds people responsible to what you intend to do in the very beginning that when tough times get hard and tough and whatever you know you understand that these were the things that I had agreed to in the beginning. So they are very important and they are not just spiritual cliches. It's just a matter of whether or not people are serious when they actually say them. You understand me? That's a different matter. And that is why I think that vows should be prepared based on the two parties involved rather than something that is prepared by a spiritual leader or a marriage officer and you just say after the leader. That in and of itself might be just empty promises. But when people can actually sit down together and work out the premise of their relationship what is it that we're going to be guided by what are some of the principles and procedures that we're going to make sure that we uphold and follow you understand me then people you know relationships or marriages are supposed to last or are supposed to be built on those contractor contractual terms as i would call them. lasting relationship can only be built on love as a foundation when there is love as a foundation there are going to be other benefits or what we could say um 
offsprings and respect is one of them our respect is a byproduct of love once there is love in the relationship relation uh, respect is going to come automatically so i would say that any lasting relationship must be built on the premise of love and everything else that is needed will just fall into place okay I do believe in love. I believe that love can last forever. However, it is reliant on respect and mutual desire for both parties to really want to achieve a long lasting relationship. On wedding vows, I believe that wedding vows are very important oaths. They're an oath that you take between yourself, your partner and God. And it is important that before you take the vow, you explore all the different aspects with a counselor who will help you to understand what to expect. Many persons get married for the wrong reasons. Many persons get married to the wrong partner because they believe that this one person is the right person for them. Love at first sight is not necessarily manifested as love. Sometimes it is manifested as a dislike because there's something in the partner that you see that you really don't understand and can't fathom. But it is important that if you really want the relationship, you work at it and it takes teamwork. Yes, it does indeed. Thank you so much. All the persons who responded to the Vox Pop, big, big ups to you and kudos to you. Thanks to my new listeners, my new friends who I dropped this one on and they readily responded. Thank you all so very much. And again, God's willing, next week, another one comes your way and we look forward to your response as well. All right, thanks again. All right, so we go from the Vox Pop, a very interesting one, where we have had so many responses. Thanks, guys. And those on the text line as well, thank you. And those who called in, thank you. Our letter for tonight, the Real Talk Letter, reads like uh, this. Huh. And sometimes I leave them because Daddy Rose letters really just gets me on my rockers. All right. Dear Real Talk, good night to you all. I recently got um, my first child, a boy, and here worried about his future. And I'm here worried about his future. I've been with quite a few girls, and none of them struck me as neither wife nor mother material. None at all. So you get, we get son for. Why you put on a put on a rope on your willy? Eh? <laughs> I don't see why every woman plays themselves on a high, but in most cases, them not ready. None at all. Stop Ouch. It. Their demands are always unreasonable True. when compared to the one thing they seem to pride as their bargaining chip. <laughs> That's why I bounce and don't stay very long. No. And it's not that I want to, but I can't tolerate the egocentric attitudes that surrounds the what is yours is mine. Yeah. And what is mine is mine. Eh. Mentality. I oh worry no. about... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> don't point on me. <laughs> I don't do that. What is his is his. What is mine are for me. Hmm. <laughs> I worry about the struggles my son will have to face when he reaches puberty and beyond. Hmm. The gallus world tend to be competitive and cruel. Very. Worse when you're feeling the need for sex and not have no girl. <laughs> Kiss my teeth. Why women take so long to give it up? Why, Cleo, why? I want to give you a I know within themselves it's just a drawn out it's just a drawn way to hustle away a man's money. Mm. Real talk. Women always ask why men cheat. Yeah, why? Who knows? We that? men need to know why women so unreasonable and, and thief. <laughs> why me could so thief? <laughs> why they so thief, dear lad? Why they so thief? Why take a walk away? 
Yeah. And all they want to say, chew the something. How is it that you men will give all of it on a heart to put that something? Because... They're going to turn on car with teeth. And all you know, go out there and want every something we want to see and we will even pay dearly for the something. I don't understand. Because of the hustle on the hustle way. No, we don't hustle, you know. We just want, we want to see all the time from everybody. We don't just crave and grab a delicious but and the, long gut but the and question, one gut but the question and is, long belly. Why are women so unreasonable? We're not unreasonable. You no, reasonable are, man. You men nah, are man. the ones who put this thing on this pedestal. No, 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 way. no, 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 we shouldn't have to hunt in the first place. That's the whole idea. But you have... Adam never have to hunt nothing. He just get a girl. I just saw the thing set. Oh, Jesus. And now that we say, why we have to hunt feet? Just give away and we will stay. But if we have to hunt feet, and then after a while you're hunting, you say, boy... When you get one, you're still not staying. You're all over the place. No, man. There's a reason for that, too, man. No, there's no reason for that except to want too good. No. Shut It's that the bargaining chip. We realize, eh? The bargaining chip. <laughs> Call her on the four five three. Good night, caller. Yes, I am listening to you. I think men are just adventurous, and they like to experiment. Sometimes I wonder if it is genetic from no. the days of from the days of old. And it is. It is said that boys tend to learn different from girls. Mm -hmm. Boys like um, learn better by doing things. Mm -hmm. Boys like comp boys have, a, have have competitive spirit. They they like to compete. Yes. And boys like to be complimented. So I do not know if some things are just inborn in our men. Mm -hmm. Why they are the way they are. Boy. I mean, you know, but something wrong with them. It's innate. And, and, and um, it's when, like when, they, when men are in their 30s, mm -hmm. it's like they get more adventurous, mm -hmm. and then they have a, they, when they reach to a point, like in their 40s, and 50s. Like, they start to cool down there. Mm -hmm. I think and some of them start to cool down because the men are not working so strong like one time. Right, the, 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 the brakes start to give problems. Yes, and if the blood flow is so strong, so they have to just right. cool. So that, that, that's the time they start to embarrass themselves. Mm -hmm. Which is so sad. But sad. I think our men, our men, our men should get more conscious now, and I think men should be paying more attention to themselves. Because I wonder why we have so many men on the street. Mm -hmm. So many men homeless. Mad. Something is wrong with our men, even how they have been brought up in the, in the home. Yes. Socialization, marginalization. Yes. How mothers grow their boys. Yes. That is why I think some men do not know how to love, how to show respect because yes. of their environment, home background. So as a teacher in my classroom, yes. I try to pay more attention to my boys. Yes. Yes, I do not treat the girls more than the boys or try to be different. Yes. So as a teacher, I try to, it's like I, I am gaining more love for the boys, paying more attention to them. Because I think boys growing up into men are marginalized. Mm -hmm. Even in the justice system. Yes. So, as mothers, we should pay more attention to our boys. And I was telling a friend of mine that a boy needs his mother more than oh, he needs his father. You think so? Because sometimes a mother, a mother cannot teach a boy what he should learn from his father, you know. But sometimes she tends to double up. But that, that nurturing, because I remember my son, when he was about... Two plus, he asked me for a doll. So I wonder why he asked me for a doll. Anyway, I bought the doll for him. Oh, and what I realized, because I'm a single mother, 
he's very loving, very nurturing. He has that side of him. Mm-hmm. So mothers should put more, put out more effort in growing their boys. Um, paying more attention to our boys so that they, be- they can become better men because men are good. No relationship is perfect, you know, because we are two different persons. People have their likes, their dislikes, personalities, differences, so many things come into place. But I think love, it is love that keeps the relationship. All right. Thank you so much. Yes. Yes, so men are great, and we should pay more attention to our men. And the boys. From, 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 from in the womb, in the home, growing yes. up. All right, my darling, thank you so much. Yeah, okay, thanks, good night. All right. Um, I, I, I share some of, our, some of our views, but some I don't. I think... Um, the part when we like the, the daddy No, no, parts. I don't like that part, the because part. I know you like Listen, that part. That part tell me say that boy is smart. <laughs> Once we don't want to hear why I'm smart. Once you put on the dolly, he must come with the dress. Oh, Jesus. And look, and bring I, it down I, back. I, I would want to I'd wanna, I'd wanna teach back. him. I'd want to teach him how and show him how to take care of a <clears throat> woman or treat the girls around him and so on respectfully and loving them and caring for them and so on. I'd want to teach him that, but not through a doll. I don't no, know I no, 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 two different things. Let me just tell you why the youth want. It's no, this, no, 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 from early, I want to know what it is like right there. Good yacht. You're smart. <laughs> Gracie says, the man in the letter, him not ready. Cause him should have wear gloves. No. You never know how she is before. Eh? Oh, boy. No, Idiot. No, 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 no. Listen. Yeah. He should have known. He should have known what he was getting into prior No, to. man. Just got a baby with somebody just saw? No, oh, oh, please. no. Oh, me read it. Him finally find the one where he want to get a youth. I didn't get the youth. I know him. I look on as a boy, my youth. The struggle is on. It's disrespectful. The struggle is on. We have a caller on the 954. Good night, caller. Welcome to the show. Hello. Good night. Hi, good night. How are you, darling? Hey, Mr. Me make him find a duty to sleep up tonight because no one dissect the letter here. Yes. Cut off a call, Cass. <laughs> 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 Happy birthday, cousin Cassidy. Let me make sure that Mr. Steel won't become one day. Monkey, monkey. Yes. Become one day, sick the letter. Yes. <laughs> and the letter you want, that's a card, it's muddy. <laughs> well, yes. and the one seat, it's muddy, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Because this is serious. I saw serious something there, right? you know. <laughs> Some serious something for true. Let me go with it, you know. Yes. So, please. Wait a minute. Give me a kiss, goodness. Bye. Yes. Which part of it you're going to dissect? So, he he has been. Let me say, he has been with so many girls, and yet he found none of them to be what he called wife material. Mm-hmm. But yet he ended up with one picnic. Okay, that means you are being careless then. Yes. No, he's no. Been, yes, he's being careless. No. Careless and careless. Yes. What, <laughs> tell what you want to know. You know, I'm not going to say, go and talk here, Rakisha. Go and talk. Is <laughs> <laughs> a... Um, then... He goes to the demands. Why are you choosing the same type of female over and over? Over and over. They are different type of women. They are different type of women. Mm-hmm. And he, he, he keep choosing the same ones over and over. So now learn. learn. Now learn in a tech place. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that means they have some issues of new one. Exactly. No. And that women are all, their demands are always unreasonable when compared to the one thing. They seem to pride as their bargaining chip. So he's, as you said, he is really going to all, going for the same type of woman every single time. He's not finding any who, see, um, who might be seemingly um, independent, 
who might be willing to work with him 50-50 to get things done and to achieve yeah. things. He's not finding those yeah. because guess what? He don't really, really want no responsibility. Yeah? He don't really want giving to any of those who mean business. He want to look or skate them when he can do us. Give her five bills, our ten, our 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 thousand dollar, and get some coochie and him gone. He's a no, no good worthless boy. No, can't agree, can't agree, can't agree. I beg him, I beg him. Be uh, me, me here want to do a more. Yeah. Because me, you can't give me, you can't pay this to me. Yeah. I can't take a woman in. But no, that's a go on nowadays, yeah. That's Keisha. why him say, him say him bounce and don't stay very long. Because he's with the same type of woman who not seemingly progressive and going anywhere. And can't help and self-reliant either. And he's spending no time to learn to know them. Exactly. So God, him just... Over. Him just going to it, Yakisha, for the sex. And when the women now present him with their bargaining chip, which, which is what he went for in the first place, he might <laughs> complain. Why bother complain when all he went there for to begin with was the sex? But here, yeah, me don't even know if that if he sex good anyway, cause me don't, you don't hear what him say. Oh, the, oh, the, oh, the, oh, where did me find the line? I me tell me a dissecting. Oh, <laughs> the girlies world tend to be competitive and cruel. Yes. Oh, okay, see, oh, okay. You will see the arm. Can you imagine? So, uh, so the girlies world. Man, I take your woman, them or man, better man, I take you for your woman. Exactly. Woman, you know, you know, Possibly. Because you can. No, I don't well, understand yeah. the thing. Hold on, the Gallus world tends to be competitive and cruel. What is cruel about it? Him say my Gallus. Yeah, him say my Gallus. Why is he complaining? So worse when he wants some and him not have no woman. That means that him not really all that. Him not all that. He's not all that. No, no, hold on. In the Gallus world, every man goes through a drought spell. Right oh, now, right now I be a drought there in Jamaica. Right? So every... <laughs> Every man go through a, a spell of drought. So then tell the boy, it ain't, it ain't rough, it's cruel. <laughs> That's yeah, not yeah. me understand. Uh, it's only cruel if you're a survival of the fittest. Uh, obviously, him and Darwin not upon the same page. Because exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> not coping well at all. A real girl is don't yeah. complain. Yes, you have to exceed your counterparts and he's not exceeding anything because he not spend no time to perfecting craft. Yes. Does that does a boop 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 on go to? Yeah. Oh, you be lying. You don't know that. Daddy Road school him go, man. Daddy Road school him go. No, 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 no. <laughs> Why women yeah. take so long to give it up? So you see, Adam go there for it's just for the thing. He, you see, he gives women the opportunity to be the ones to hustle his money because they know that when they see him coming and when they hear him talk, there's only one thing he wants. So they make sure I tell him straight up, if you want to get somebody's, somebody's nookie, you got to pay up for it. So he attracts those women, yeah? And then when those women present him with their demands, he's here complaining. Oh, real talk. Real talk, nothing, man. Don't call with him in your mouth, man. Real talk. <laughs> women, always, <laughs> women always ask why men cheat. Why no. men, um, we men need to know why women so unreasonable and thief. Him not ready yet. Why him so not ready? Why him is still a kinaki? Ask yourself that question. What's a kinaki? When you hear the but word, you know, I cannot... You know, I agree with him on one point of this letter. Yes? The only point that he... The only sense of the point that he has made... Yes. The only rational thing is not making out this letter. Because he's turned for a little boy too. Yeah. Exactly. He should be. He should be on many levels because with the father that he... That the boy has to deal with. I'm not sorry for him. For true. He has to deal with his son too. Can I not teach the boy what he sensibly look like? He made a band right there. And chances are, he might end up teaching the boy to become just like him. So I'm sorry for the yeah, poor child for you. He knows something else to teach him. Look at you. That's he knows thing. something else to teach him other than if he bounce and go through. Yeah, and, and cut. Centric. And how all women intolerable. And then all they want to do is beg. That's what he's teaching. That means the little boys have that image of his mother. They say his mother did a while then girl. Yeah. Can't tolerate. Exactly. Yeah. So... 
he needs help. I hope he can get it soon. Yes. Maybe link me. I'm not even charging. Link you for what? Link. Rehabilitate him, right? Rehabilitate him. Link you for what? <laughs> eh? Help him straight out in his butt. Yeah, real talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Akisha. Thank you, darling. Uh, yeah, but. <laughs> you need help for true on a serious note. Yeah, because the tendency that he has and the, the way of thinking is going to rub off on that child as no, child grows I, older. I, 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 hold on. Let me ask you a question. What's, can't tolerate these egocentric I, 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 attitudes. No, no but, but is he telling any lies there? Yes. Where? Yes. Where, where's the lie? I'd, I'd like for you to show me where's the no, lie. I, I don't know if you say it's a lie. I, I don't see any it's, lie. It's view. It's view. His view is, is his view is facts. Are, are the facts I will present okay. himself. So there are women he, out there so, so, who so are so like even, that, you know. So, so, don't so, get so, me wrong. So even if these are the ladies where him just go after the low hanging fruits, then that's what we call it. <laughs> right? Too bad for him. Too bad for him. Call but, her on. Yes. Keep that thought. Okay, hold on. So we have a caller on the nine five four. Good night, caller. Clear. Yes, that's that. Road. It's the virgin. Eh? The Virgin, the Virgin is, is making a, 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 a mortal mistake that, that will never be corrected. Um, and keep looking for the perfect woman. I keep, keep looking for the, for, the, for the so-called virtuous woman. Yeah. And I'm going to search him all, him all life because that person is there. Lie you tell. Stop it right there, sir. Hold that thought right there, sir. <laughs> out of order than Dan. To come on this radio and tell us tonight that there is no virtuous woman out there. You're wrong, 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 wrong. And when I see you, I'm going to prove how wrong you are. Oh, oh, please. <laughs> no, Dan, Dan, I will no. not accept that from you. No, there no, are no, virtuous no, no, no. women out there. Clear, he clear, is looking clear, in the... Clear. Hold on, hold clear. that thought, Dan, Dan, because a virtuous woman is speaking, sir. We don't know about okay. that. Top, your, top, top your eyes. A virtuous woman speaketh. Now, yes. if this man is at the level where, as that would rightly said for once, <laughs> he's picking from the lower, lowest of limbs... What does he expect to find? On a very serious note. How about upgrading himself in his way of thinking? The kind of woman okay. he would look forward One, to getting? I, I agree with that. I agree with that. Yeah, so don't you dare say that there are no virtuous women out there because this little low life, but, but, this low life no, dude decides to but go clear, but, below but certain standards. But, but well, clear, clear. You, let, let me comment on the point where I say upgrade his way of thinking. Upgrade because, again, he, He's, he's always going to find some fault with women. Correct? Needless to say. As, as, he, as, as, as he displayed in them letter. So the fact that the fact, the fact he might find some fault with women, he, um, he will never ever see um, 100% virtu virtuosity in women. That's what I'm saying. So, change his way so of said, thinking. So as you said. Change his way yeah, of thinking, so not exactly. just towards so the kind said. of woman he's going to look for, but the way he thinks about women. He has issues. Yes. He has no. issues. Yes. No issues. Me, well, I don't clear. Me, he, me must agree you. Me agree you. He, he must be must. He, he needs to realize um, and accept the shortcomings of women. And stop. I, 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 and, and, stop and stop expect some, some fantasy world thing. And as it's you said matter. that, yes. Also accept the fact that he too clearly has some issues and some faults of his own that some women are might, might look and say, you know what? This man just peeves me. He needs to understand that no, he well, too will have faults well, and well, problems. Come on, man. No, no, no. I'm not saying no, no. He's, 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 not, he's not displaying that, 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 him, that, him, that, that him himself is virtuous or not. He <laughs> is just saying. He, remember, remember that clear. He must say all this in the context of what his son is probably going to be facing. All right. Remember, we started letter um, with, with the word with the word prospect facing the son when you know when his son reach the, the age there. You know. No, what what I would say now, if, if, he, he rightly should have should should have, should have realized all these shortcomings um, from, um, from from early. All right. But <laughs> he's a dummy. But 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 but, but, but I think the, 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 the larger, the larger, in the larger scheme of things. He's looking for um, for that perfection, and look, all of us men um, were, 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 were at, at that stage at some point. Really? Yes. We didn't pick up a low limb all the time, and I pick up pure trash. So what? We didn't pick up the lowest limb possible and picking up pure trash. Uh, no, clear, clear. <laughs> 
I'm asking. You, you, you well, listen, man. You, you, got, you, you, you got to admit to yourself too, that, that, that there's no perfect man. No. Is, is that true? No, that, that's needless to say. There's no perfect man, oh, no then, perfect then, woman. Then, then clear. But then, then clear. Then, if you're going to reach the place then, where all you can say is just negative about a woman, then something no. wrong with you and where you're looking, man. Well, go fix yourself first. Then you talk about women. I, I agree. I, and you I don't agree fix yourself. You know, just be man, quiet. This, obviously, obviously, this man has been. Uh, uh, he has put out a lot, a lot for um, to a lot of women, and he and he expect a lot in return, and he has been disappointed in, in, in his returns. He has given a lot of what to women. Tell me, a lot of what? His heart. No, but, Stop. no, no. It, 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 it not say exactly, but but no, but, but from you the tell me the... since you know Dan Dan, what has he given no, to women? Tell us. No, from tell the tone, from, from the from the tone of the letter. From the he tone has of the letter. given a lot of sperm, no doubt, because he has not been putting on any condoms for one. So he has given that maybe. And a lot of how energy. How, to, how, how, hold on, how how come A lot of energy to carry out the act. But what else has he really given them? Tell me. Maybe some pleasure. Chances are not even any pleasure okay. for them either. Nothing, 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 nothing materialistic. Like what? But but, but listen. Like what? Look, he look got at, the at, sex and he paid for it. So what? What no, are you man. saying? Clear, clear. Look on the tone and letter again. He, 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 the tone and letter suggests that he, he himself has, give, has given a lot. Given what? Dan Dan. Given Dan, let her please. Dan, given Dan. what? Dan Dan. Dan Dan. Yeah. She, am, oh, she, am, she, she actually missing. I'm saying from earlier. What, so, what so, did he give the women? Hold on. Houses, w land, hold on. First cars. And no, clear. Hold on. You have what has he given clear, them? Clear. You have to look at it. No, no, the man have a nice bouncing baby boy. The man, look, the man, the man a reminisce upon life and say, boy, Jan or youth, you know, say, it's all rough upon you as a man. Maybe we should not have all, have all a daughter because... The mass chugs away have to go through as a man if you try to find the right woman. You know, guess you are him at the and, wrong at the problem. And, and not he easy. is the problem. No, can't Every be. Every woman in me can't be the same. So if, if, if you look in different places, come no. on, man. Remember, my girl, hold on. If, if, if I want thing the way women have to understand. You have no. Christian women, what, what, real, real Christian women. Which they, which, which they still have, have demands. Women, hold on, which man. they still have demands. I say no. But what me don't say you is, have demands? Yeah, but guess what? Don't me you have demands? Don't you have demands? Self-reliant woman, no, they can't man. talk to me. Me a self-reliant no, woman. Nobody still have demands. Nobody can't talk to me like that. No, no you not talk to nobody no way. No, no. What me a say is, no man can't say, "Boy, well, if you are give me this and I'll no, give it. I yeah. am self-reliant." The, the, the point the, I'm right, making, Dan, Dan, is the, 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 find the yourself the most a woman. The most telling is when say these women are making unreasonable demands. Didn't you read something like that? Because yes, I'm yes, a yes, best life, yes. have money and he have nothing with his no, dry pocket. No, he might profess to be this big shot. No, and he's not no big shot. No, just to try and how do you get that? Him, exactly, him trying to impress these women. No, and to get them into bed, so he gives them the view that okay, he's all uh, that and a bag of chips when he is nothing. He's a kinaki. No, no. Him is a degelu. Dan Dan. Yeah. It, this is an unreasonable statement, the rude boy. What me get her from it, right? Me know say women always pride them part. Them pride them part like which the boy. Which is right. right. Which is Which is right. Wh whatever. Right? Which is right. Say it. No, whatever. No, say it is right. I disagree. You right? shouldn't pride it. You can't pride it, but, but, it, it, dunk, but, but the value on the one put point like some boy. Pride I'm, it, ladies. You know, if, if, value it, it ladies. It, it's like some boy. It's God given treasure. Pride it. And, we're, and that's why I must say it's Continue unreasonable. Talking. No, 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 no. no. It's unreasonable. Because the, the, the expectation from a man, when, when, when a woman, you know, give us that thing, like some boy, we're not giving us something to. Like what? Pleasure. Hmm? Pain. That has measure. Agony. Frustration. <laughs> Depression. <laughs> is, is it? Nah. Clear, part, nah. clear. Part, part, part of the equation, no, no. Part of the equation, this, this guy look, I don't know, is that, all right, is, is, is that, that the rule mentioned about, about, about pleasure as well? All right. <laughs> if, in, if, if he is, if, if in his estimation, he is, he is imparting so much pleasure, probably physically, emotionally, and otherwise. I I guess um by the same token, in my look in my in probably I, I, um, I, I look for the same amount of pleasure too. Not ne not necessarily physically though, but emotionally. Does this man look like anybody who needs emotional support to you? Seriously, Dan Dan? This man wants some what? sex and cut and go through every time. This one meet a filly, cut pay her some money, 
So Uncle Trump change, cut and go through but, to the next victim. But tell me not about emotional pressure but, right here, so please. But clear, it's a, it's, 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 it's a, like, 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 a letter like this now. A, a, a letter like this, you know, is, is really showing, you know, um, for, the, for, the, for the female community to, um, to, to, to really adjust themselves and say, look, what is it really that man are, man are look for that, um, that, we can't, that, we can't, that we can't deliver? You know, are, 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 are we taking are we taking too much from men and 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 not, you know these are questions that, that really what the would kind the of man woman, what the would first, the man the want to woman, equate the virtuous woman and need to, need to look at and, and adjust okay. you know, so that, what would you know. Dan Dan what would the man equate to being good enough for him to get after he gives up some money because God, God bless what he what he's even giving these women you know. Because he said I'm unreasonable, number one. And okay, let us say the woman wants, some, some women are unreasonable for true. But what is it that he would equate what he's giving a woman to what he should get from her? What, what, what is that? What is it? It can't be our vagina. Well, it can't be the well, vagina. Well, 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 the only thing the women them I come to the bargaining table with is just the vagina. But and, it it and, 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 it, and it should be more than that because... No, the, the man, man say... say not stay for long. Why not stay for long? Because him get it and then if I, this is all you have, where me about a tan for? You what does he have to offer? You're a wife material. You're a mother material. If I look for your wife and look for your mother... What does he have to offer? You can't be looking for a wife and you don't have husband material to offer them. Too bad for you. We, oh, I, we, uh, uh, that, that is what would I, would I, would I love for him to um, expound on more. Exactly. What am I give them so? What them now give back in return? We equate. Yeah, what am I give them? But, Nothing but, at but, all. Yeah. But but but, <laughs> yeah, but but obviously in the sense it, it can it, it can be just sex because um you know if I do sex alone in, 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 my, in my look and he's getting that. I'm not, I'm not gonna move on. So so, so obviously it must be but something more is, than sex. What me I say is I know like a one woman you know. Obviously, it's more than one woman he has been with. Yes, yes, yes. If well, all not, the women... It, 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 he's not saying he's juggling, you know. He might have been one woman at a time, you know. And he keeps ah. the next one. Might, but, might have been several at the same time, too. Yeah. No, no, clear. Come on. You man. just say might, Dan, Dan. Come on, man. You just say might yeah, be it, no, no, one no, at a no, time. Mr. And I'm Mike, saying but, yes. But, 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 Equally Mike, so, but, but you, might be several at a time, too. Be fear, man. No, be no, fear. but but no, no, but it, but it's like you are indicating. So, no, so, so, so it, it, it's definitely uh, in my joke two at a time. I did not um, say that. I um, said that. That my operative word was. It could also be several okay, at the same okay, time all right. too. All right, my bad then. Okay, accepted. No, don't cut me like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dan Dan, I am saying if this man experienced five, six different women, the you know, the same way. Don't get me wrong, you know. Yes. Nah, see, nah, we're not the stay so, you know. What me I say? I know right. I always stay so. So why no, is no, it? No, no, that's true. Why is it that him just buck up? the wrong one, them. Why is it that him just buck up in the same one, them, every time? Because Something a, wrong why? with him. No, him is a yeah, serial no, guy. That is true. And that is true. And, and, and he, and he need, need, needs to address that. He needs but to at fix time, himself. No. Yeah, but at the same time, no, you can't, you can't expect a man to just retire from, um, from, from, from seeing women. He can't retire. That, that, that not... You know, take that, a, that's not take a chill pill, go start with yourself, regroup and come again, revamp and come again, yeah. and choose differently this time. All right, hold on. Bef that way you might Dan -dan. find a wife. Dandan, -dan, before we close out, make we we'll get uh -huh. to the part. The, the man asks we a question, and we're not acknowledge the question. The man asks a question why are women so unreasonable and thief? Because some of the men like him are just mm. idiots looking the wrong direction. That's why. Yes, so Dan Dan. And he allow himself to be to become to, to be cheated and stolen. No, no. That, again, you know, like like clear, I am an indicator. He might meet the wrong woman, and because probably um, you might find eighty percent of the women um, might fit the bill there. All right, he need to keep searching. I don't have to just keep searching. He, 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 the law of averages, you know, dictate that he will eventually come up, come up with one who is not like the other, you know. 
fix himself first because when him find she when lose her because him stay out, him no, stay. But, <laughs> no, but, but clear. Me, me, That's a war you would say. Yeah, man. You, 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 you suggest that he's broken. You, 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 oh, don't, please. Don't. Oh, please. Broken what? Him down there, so he's no, broken. No, you, no. No. When, <laughs> no when, when you say to fix himself, you are suggesting or indicating that that, 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 that he's broken, something about him is... And you um, already is, is, alluded to that, Dan Dan. It's broken. But you also alluded to no. that. <laughs> Dan Dan, we're going to wrap up now, yeah? Yeah, man, cool. So uh, thank respect. you, Dan Dan, for your input tonight. Thank you so much. And of course, thanks to all our peeps who uh, participated in one way or the other to the show tonight. You made the show possible. Ooh, it was a mouth full, hand full, foot full, coffin full. Eye full. And I. And, and, and eye full. <laughs> and eye full. Eye full, of yes. course, yes. Thanks to everyone who participated tonight. Um, thanks for being with us throughout the show, Sister Nyla. Good to have you with us. On behalf of our engineer, Cassidy, and my co host, just want to say if it is that you meet someone, you first, you love them at first sight. All the very best to you for the future with that person. All right? But if you don't, just leave it up to God and expect him to just work out the rest for you. Yeah? Go by faith. And, of course, until next week, Daddy Rude will tell us. Big up my wife for life. Bye.